I survived 100 days on a lonely little deserted island surrounded by nothing but an endless ocean, with no land, villages, or animals in sight. So join me as we start our isolated journey to transform this tiny little island into a thriving resort. So without any further ado, let's go. Alright, here we are, back stranded on a small, tiny little island in the middle of nowhere. I'm excited for this, because I really enjoyed doing the last one, and I'm really excited to see how we fared this time. Now, the island, this time around is a little bit bigger. I mean, we have like a, a whole volcano thing up here. I, I don't really know why we'd need this. It's probably going to be more of a hindrance than it is a help, but hey, we have it. Now, I'll also just say real quick that the mod pack and the map that I'm using are going to be linked down in the description so you can go and download those. And why am I getting hungry already? What is this? All right, well, I guess I'll not waste any more time. Let's go grab some, uh, some supplies, shall we? Because I don't want to starve out here. I think I may have messed up while setting things up and left the game running. <laughs> That's why I'm hungry, but it's all good. It's all good. It makes it a little bit worse for us. Uh, I guess let's make a, a hoe straight off the bat then and, and try and get some food because this ain't going to go too well for us. Okay, hopefully these grow quickly because uh, it, things aren't looking too good straight off the bat. This is not a uh, this is not the best start ever. There's also uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's there's no animals anywhere. Uh, there's <laughs> there's absolutely nothing. So I guess we're going to be relying on solely bread, I would assume. Solely bread. Unless a zombie drops a potato, in which case then we can uh, use that too. We've got a nice little selection of trees on this island. We've got some birch, got some oak. I think there's a jungle one around the back too. That's, that's pretty good. Nice selection of woods to build with. Okay, uh, I'm going to avoid sprinting for as long as I possibly can. Uh, I'm going to check out what's down here because there's another cave on here and it's literally a dead end cave, but I guess we'll go down from here. Hey, that 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 hunger's going down pretty uh, pretty quick right there. I'm not I'm not a big fan of that. What is what is this? You good? Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. I can get fish. <gasps> We're saved. Uh I'll just take the axe. I'll just take the axe and go down. Yes. Fishy. Fishy. Oh, you're going to drop tropical fish though, aren't you? Uh, I guess it's better than nothing. Come on. Uh, wait, where did that go? There we go. Give me the fish. Come back here, buddy. Your fate is sealed. Actually, mine's almost sealed too because I'm going to drown. There we go. Where'd he go? Am I a... Oh, wait. Is this some cod? Yes. I can cook you. Yes. Meat. Come here. <clears throat> come come back. Oy! There we go. Okay, we got him. Ah, uh, yes, man. I completely forgot about fish. It's like actually the best resource we have. Screw the bread. You know, the bread's nothing compared to this stuff. Well, not the tropical fish. The tropical fish is absolutely trash, but the other stuff's good. Okay, let's grab a little bit of stone then, get a furnace and get things cooking up. We also have unlocked a whole bunch of recipes there because we have some building mods in this so that we can build some slightly nicer structures. Okay, instead of building a furnace, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a big brain move here. That's not a big brain move but i'm gonna do one right you ready for this one two three four boom look at that it's a smoker <laughs> and we can cook these up quicker so that we don't starve even though i'm pretty sure we're good now oh <sighs> okay all right now that the chaos has ended and we're not starving let's grab a little bit more stone while that's cooking up and we shall craft ourselves some stone equipment yeah there we go finally back to full hunger we're doing pretty good <laughs> say that and we're like barely surviving but it's, it's a start, at least, you know, it's a start. Okay, now that we've got some stone, though, let's immediately come down here and upgrade this to iron, because why not? Is that all the iron down here? That's kind of underwhelming. It's probably going to end up getting dark soon as well, so what I might do is I might fortify this little cave area here for now and kind of just chill down here in this little hermit hole. I think that's actually a, a good idea. Let me grab this chest. We'll, we'll move everything down there preemptively. Okay, smoker, crafting table, and then throw a couple torches down here. Lovely! It's all nice and homely now. We'll waste some of this birch wood and just kind of, <laughs> I guess, try and get a little door on this. I'll put it, like, right here and then bring it down. It's not going to look good, but it's we're not doing it for things looking good right now. We're doing it for survival. Okay, beautiful. This is perfection right here. This is absolutely am I can't even get out. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Oh, they'll never find me down there. Okay, well, the sun is going down, so I'm just going to grab the last little bits of this cobblestone that I can see on the surface here. I'm probably going to end up leveling all of this to the ground anyway. <sighs> okay, well, I guess I'll sit here cozy all night and uh, hopefully a skeleton spawns in. Although, I tell you what, while we're waiting for that, let's use our time 
pretty wisely right here and start digging all the way down to see if there's anything below us. Man, you know what? Doing this has kind of got me thinking. You ever wonder how many times, like how many blocks of stone you've broken solely just by strip mining? Like how much, how much time of my, oh, oh, okay, okay, no, I'll stop complaining, it's all good, it's all good. But no, seriously, I'm, I'm, like, when you think about it, how long have I spent strip mining? Like how much time have I spent hours on end strip mining in this game? It is ridiculous, probably. Throw the coal in there, lovely, right, are we dark outside? Yes, we are. I guess let's play it a little bit safer then, and wait till the iron's cooked, we'll grab a shield and then take a look out. Nah, you know what? We'll not focus on mob killing for tonight. It's 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 still very early days. By that, I mean it's literally the first day. Instead, let us continue on our little mine down here. Oh, well, there goes the pickaxe. Okay, guess we're done mining for tonight. All right, and we're back. I kind of cowered away in the hole all night after my pickaxe broke down the mine, and I did a little bit of expansion, just a tiny, tiny bit, um, but then my wooden pickaxe broke, so... Let's get back to it. It's also raining outside, so that's uh, amazing. All right, well, let's go give this island a little look. There's the jungle trees. Anything else? Nothing over there. A lot of kelp and a single piece of sugar cane. Really? Just one piece? Yeah, I guess I'll just... I'll take that then. It's better than nothing. And I guess I'll take this jungle wood too. Please drop some saplings. Oh, you already did. Beautiful. All right, so I'll go and grab this last oak tree. I'm not really too fussed about getting the birch ones. Maybe I guess I could use them for... Oh, uh, no, I guess I'll get them because I can use them for the furnace. Damn, I, I used to love birch wood, man. What happened to me? I now despise this stuff. I don't know why. Okay, maybe despise is a little bit far. It's just it's not the wood that I go to now. You know, it's not my go-to wood. I understand where people were coming from, you know, judging me for it. I, I get it. I get it. All right, it's not the best wood. Okay, well, I guess considering it's a nice rainy day, what we're going to do is I'll throw my wood in here for now, and I will craft myself a shiny new iron sword. Wait, what was that? An iron knife. Wait, what? Oh, wait, yeah, I've got more weapons. Uh, let's have a look. So I can make an iron long sword, an iron twin blade. <laughs> what is that? That looks way too cool. Oh, I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that. What is this? What? Wait, can I... Is it just... Okay, so holding the shield doesn't do anything. Hey, you know what? I'm taking this over the sword, though. What is this? Oh, my God. Hey, g give me the fish, man. Where the fish at? They ain't gonna... They don't know what's about to come for them. Hey. Oh, you're gonna regret being in this part of the ocean. You are gonna regret being over here, good sir. Come here. Hey. Oh, well, it would help if I could... There we go. Yeah. You will die by my iron twin blade. Oh, some bone meal too. Uh, there's some iron over there. I'll remember that for later. I think I just saw some more down there too. Yeah, there's... Oh, there's a whole bunch down there. Look at that. Okay, tropical fish, you guys are safe because eating you is absolute poodoo. There's absolutely no point to it. I may as well just eat dirt at that point. Any more edible fishies? I probably want to go and like put an end to a spider so I can make a fishing rod. Maybe that'll be slightly more efficient than, you know, going in and dealing with things by hand because I really don't see much around these parts i'm not gonna lie oh wait no i'm lying to you i i, I literally said i'm not gonna lie but i am lying uh, there's some fish right here come here i guess i can grab some i can grab some kelp while i'm down here you know why not you know got a got a big supply of the stuff we may as well grab a little bit i don't know what i can use it for but i can use it wait can i put it in the furnace or is that only dried kelp that I can put in the furnace but essentially making the dried kelp would be like using fuel anyway so what's the point right played this game for like 11 years and i have no clue oh no i didn't want to do that no oh, i've just wasted some oh screw it i'll make some charcoal then damn it man i didn't want to waste my coal okay so with our leftover iron i think what i'll do is i'll make a bucket grab some water and then kind of go from there oh god i thought that birch sapling up there was a creeper then okay five cooked cod so can i use this as basic fuel let's find out i'll throw the oh i can't even put it in there so yeah i do have to dry it out is there any other oh wait maybe a could i use a campfire maybe would that be uh, i mean i don't know i really don't think that that's any better of a way like i have to wait for it to smelt down on the campfire it's kind of like making a process where i could just use wood 10 steps harder you know what i mean i think i just heard water to my oh well it's right there Okay, um, is this just going to be an, 
uh, underwater cave. Because if so, I yeah, I, I don't have time for these things. Although that iron would be nice. Oh, screw it. You know what? We'll go down. We'll go down. I'll grab my birch doors and we'll we'll venture into the cave. Hey, whoa! What's happening down? Oh, there's more iron down here. <gasps> okay, you know what? Underwater caves. They are the way to go. I, I'm sorry about everything I've said about them. Yeah, give me the key. Give me the key. Okay, and last piece. No, don't go down there. <sighs> okay, give me the iron. Oh, wait, this isn't even underwater. This is... Oh! Oh, well, rip the birch doors, I guess. Oh, I'm so glad this isn't all underwater. That would literally be the worst. Oh, I thought I saw coal. It was just gravel. Oh, hello, buddy! You want to meet my friend, Iron Twin Blade? Yeah. Go away, you glowing green pest! There we go. <laughs> ah, she was guarding some iron. I knew it was up to something. Oh, God, please not another water cave, please. Oh, it's not. It's just there's some water above it. Okay. There seems to be just water in random places, man. This, this, this. Oh, <laughs> that's why there's water. In Wait, what? That is so weird. So, this is water directly above me, but it's just not falling in. That's. Oh, my God. That's actually kind of cool, you know. I like that. I like that. Some strange goings on over on this island, I tell you. Okay, I should probably start marking out where I'm coming from now because it's starting to open up. Did I not get all this iron? What? Uh, I may, may as well grab this lapis. You know, we have uh, sugar cane and can get leather from smelting rotten flesh because I have that mod on as well because that's the only way I can get leather in this, apparently. Unless a cow just randomly wants to spawn. I know you can do the thing where you kind of open up an area and place like a load of dirt blocks and stuff and then they can spawn on it. Never happens for me, so I, I think I'm being just bamboozled by it, to be fair. I think it's a lie. Never seen it happen. Or I am very unlucky. Okay. Does this go anywhere further? Oh. Ooh. More iron. And that's about it. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I'll take these little bits of iron. Okay. I'm just going to leave and forget about that noise. Oh, just look at that. It's nighttime again. Okay. Well, that doesn't, doesn't bother me. We're going to throw this charcoal in here. Throw that iron in there. Boom. All right. We're doing pretty good. I guess let me equip my shield and then we'll go out and see if there's any spiders that we can kill for a fishing rod. And also... Oh, there's two there. Um, and also for uh, a bed because I can make wool from their string. Ooh. You ain't know about this twin blade. Wah! No, there's a skeleton. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop this behavior. Stop. Stop. Oh, we hit the creeper. No, stop. This isn't going well. Stop, 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 stop. Genuinely stop it, please. Genuinely. I, I, please, please, I beg, I beg, I beg. I beg you to please stop your assault. Oh, God. Stop. Stop. My lovely island. Stop. This is all I've got. Go away. Go away. There we go, he's down, okay. Oh no, more of my island's gone. And the bones and arrows that I got are gone too. <laughs> oh no. I got two string though. Is that even enough for a fishing rod? Actually, I think it is. Okay, can I just can I just get back home, please? Please. Stop. It's harassment in my own abode. Okay, there's another skeleton over there. There's another spider. I can deal with one skeleton at a time. That's fine. But when they start ganging up on me like that, I don't like that. You go away. Yeah, two more string. Did I get a... Oh, I thought I got a bow from that guy. Apparently not. Okay. Uh, well, I know not to come out here again without being prepared. Jesus. Army of the undead out there. Jeez. Right, chest plate. I'll make some little booties too. Why not? You know, we can, can go all out. Look at that. Look at an arrow in my face. Oh, it's... More so in my neck, but it's still not a good place. Do I have any more fish in there? No, I'm I'm out of food again. Okay, let me make a fishing rod if I remember the recipe for it. Like I said, I played this game for 11 years, I think, and I still think. Here we go. There we go. I still have no idea what I'm doing half the time, but I do remember the recipe for a fishing rod. Okay, the sun is rising and we are absolutely stacked on armor. So let's head out. I think I heard a zombie as well, so... Hopefully we can hit him. Ah, there he is. Hello, good sir. I need your flesh for leather. Thank you. Wait, what is that? Is that a rotten flesh block? How weird. Um, also, I was looking at the weapons last night, and look at this. I'm an iron scythe. 
You can get a literal scythe. I can also get a war glaive, uh, a halberd, which is just a goaded weapon anyway. I mean, look at that. Nine attack damage. Beautiful stuff. Um, and there's also this iron port porticulus? Portculus? An iron fence, essentially. <laughs> Okay, so let me just harvest up some wheat because our food supply is pretty dire, I'm not going to lie. All right, we also want to start stacking up on wood ASAP as well because the house I want to build is kind of costly. I'm not really too sure how it's going to come out, but it's it's kind of expensive. It's kind of expensive. I see you up there, buddy. I see you up there creeping around my volcano. Hey, come back here. Hello, sir. I have a... Oh, What's my weapon called again? An, an iron twin blade. Yeah, <laughs> you have some of this. Ooh. There we go. He's down. I don't think, to be fair, that I'm going to be using the gunpowder much if uh, at all with this, actually. I, you know, I'm probably not going to end up going to the end. Because I don't even know if there's an end portal on this map. And other than the elytra, like what? I can make TNT? Okay, let me craft up some bread so I can eat while I fish. And then we're going to have the most thrilling day imaginable. It is time for fishing day! Yes! Fishing day, the best day. Woo! Oh, wait, what the? I, I got leather? I was going to celebrate catching a fish, but... Hey, that actually wasn't an overreaction. <laughs> I didn't know I could... I completely forget. I, you can get leather from fishing. Is that a... Oh, my God. A puffer fish? Oh, this is going to go amazingly. Well, you know what? Enjoy the fishing montage or whatever I put here because this is, I mean, this is like the best content. This is this is why you clicked on this video, is to witness me catching absolute trash fish. <laughs> and so I basically spent the entire day fishing and oh boy, was it miserable because my luck was really not that good in any regard and I didn't actually manage to get much of anything, really. Here's the end result of pretty much an entire day fishing. To be fair, we are okay on food now, but I am going to end this day off by probably expanding out the farm because I know we have quite a lot of seeds. Do, do you mind blocking my door? Hello? Beautiful. Okay. Are you ready? No, you weren't ready. I, 11 years. 11 years. You know what? I'm thinking like, yeah, okay, I could make the halberd. It does two extra damage and three over this one, but also like it's a scythe. Like it's a legit scythe. I'm, I'm taking the scythe. I'm taking the scythe. Oh, look at that. Look at that thing. Oh, my God. It's so big. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I know what I'm doing tonight. Then I'm going to go and put an end to the, uh, the inhabitants of this uh, island other than myself. Okay. Who dares tread upon my island? Oh, my God. How many trees have grown? <gasps> We've got bees. Oh, this was an amazing day. This best day so far. Absolutely amazing. Perfect. All right. Okay, who dares trespass on my island, eh? No one. There's no one around. Because they see, they see this absolute giga chad with a scythe right here. Absolute Adonis. Is there seriously nothing going to spawn in? Oh, wait, maybe if I go down the mines, you know, because I, I do need that string for the bed. I would really like a bed before phantoms start um, harassing me. Oh, I hear a spider. Oh, God, you almost made me choke on my drink. Hey! Hey, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. <gasps> yeah. Oh, ow. Oh, there's two of you ganging up on me, are we? All right. Yeah. I have a sight. Oh, there's the phantoms. Okay, great. That's exactly what I want. No. Oh, my island and my string. No. D stupid long grass, man. You go away. There's three of you. What is this? They saw me pull out the scythe and called him back up. Holy, all right. I don't mess with them. I just, just wanted to kill spiders. Man, that's, that's all I want. I need string to get rid of you awful creatures. Uh, there's a skeleton down there. I, I take him on. I can take him on. Easy. Hey, buddy. I have a scythe for you. Oh, I hear a spider as well. Oh, you thought you were gonna you thought you were gonna get a jump on me. These are the reactions of a true gamer. Uh, these phantoms are really annoying though. Where are you? Where are you? Come here. Yeah. Come on. You ain't ready for the scythe, bro. Yeah. Got a membrane too. That'll be useful for the elytra that I'm probably never gonna get. Come down, come on, come on. I'm done. I'm done with this. I got a scythe. What you got? Wings? Exactly. I don't want to... Why are you trying to... Hey, hey! I, that's not fair. That's not fair. Oh! We just saw three more spawning. I'm going inside. Uh, no, stop, 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 stop. 
my god. There's like eight of them up there now. Go away. Yeah, give me your bones. That was a cheap kill, but I don't care. <laughs> okay. I guess we're staying in here for the night then. I don't think I have enough string for the for a bed. No, I have enough for one piece of wool. Okay, amazing. Oh, that's a noise I like to hear. Hello? You you, you going down? Where you at? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hello, buddy. Okay, why were you on fire and now you're not on fire? Oh, okay, no, they are they are going down. Okay. Wait, did I get a bow? Oh, I did. Oh, my God. That's actually really good. Full durability almost. Damn. Well, it saves me some string. Last night went pretty okay, other than, you know, getting jumped by about a thousand phantoms. But I did organize a little bit of stuff in here. Uh, and today's a big day. Today's a big day because I'm going to take these bones. I'm going to bring them down to bone meal. And we're going to get ourselves some big old jungle trees because... Oh, no, the small ones did grow. Okay, I was going to say because these ones didn't, but they did. Hey, how's it going, buddy? You are the only friendly face I'm going to see through this entire thing. I shall therefore name you Bezo. Your name is Bezo. Bezo for short. Jeff Bezos for... Uh, yeah, Jeff Bezos. There it is. Hey, how's it going, buddy? How you doing? Okay, I guess I'll take these trees down from the back then, and we'll get on with making some big old jungle trees. Okay, so my plan for the house is I want something that kind of sits elevated, and then maybe some stairs coming down, and then we can lead it into kind of a mine, and have like the garden and farm area down here, and the house and storage stuff up there separate, kind of on like a, a platform with some kind of like stilt things coming down, some wooden pillars. I think that'll look pretty good. But for that, we are going to need uh, an atrocious amount of jungle wood. So let's just... Oh! Will this all come down nice and well? It looks like it will. Oh, it's raining as well. Great. Amazing. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to happen. Wait, did it only drop two saplings? Oh, you see, this is why I didn't want to do that, man. It... <laughs> I've been griefed by the sapling gods once again. All right, I guess I'll just take the individual ones and farm out a few saplings then. All righty, well, let's grab you, place you down. That's two sugarcane down and like a thousand to go. Uh, clear up some space with these trees. We can actually start getting a little abode together and a little storage box for all of our house building necessities and materials. Oh, no, I'm sorry, bees. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, it'll it'll grow back. It'll <laughs> it'll grow back. Don't worry about it. Please, Jeff. Please, I am a, a subscription holder to uh, Zamazor Prime, all right? I, I pay your bills, Jeff. I pay your bills. Okay, so I'm going to make uh, another double chest, and I'm going to fill it with all of our house building goods. So, for example, we'll need the jungle wood. We will need some oak, but I'm not going to put all my oak in there because I'll probably need it before then anyway. Uh, I think we're going to need some stone, mainly mossy stone. So let me grab some of these because we can also get mossy stone right here. So I'll put you in there as well, and I'll throw some cobblestone in there just for good measure. Okay, so we've got... Ooh, what are these? Apple jungle leaves. How do I got the A botanist's workshop. What? Wait, what? Oh, I like that. I can make frosted jungle leaves, golden jungle leaves. Okay. Uh, some funky doors. Oh, we can also get flowering jungle logs. Wow. Wait, a nail, a planked jungle? Whoa. Okay, there's a lot of variants with these. I didn't even notice. Okay, what do I need for that table then? Is it any clay, right? Because I need the... Wait, that's not the... That's a carpenter's table. What? Huh? Okay, well, I know I need clay for the botanist one, so I'll go and grab some of that real quick. I think I saw some over here in this portion of the island. Yeah, there's a single piece. Oh, no, there's a lot more. Okay. Botanist workbench. Oh, damn, look at that thing. So if I put, like, this in here, can it do anything? Or do I need, like, direct leaves? Let me try and get some actual leaves. I still have the shears on me. Oh, no, I can just make them. Oh, what? Oh, wow, that's actually really good. Look at them. Oh, my God. I like that. What's on this side, then? Or is it just, uh, yeah, they're both the same thing. That's some nice decorations right there. That, oh, my God, there's an enemy going crazy outside. You're not having fun, buddy. Oh, God, he's going insane. <laughs> and now, what can I do with you? I'm assuming it's wood. As a matter of fact, I know it's going to be wood, but... What do I... Can I put things in here and... Oh! Wait, what is this? What is... 
that that don't look like it does in the image, but that kind of looked a little bit goofy if you ask me. <laughs> oh, I can get an even angrier looking one. Okay. Or is that just the same one? No, no, they're different. They're different. Yeah. Oh, he looks sad, man. He looks sad. Here, let me... I'm going to give myself a friend here. Yeah, you can't really see him too well, but he's... <laughs> he's not too happy. Come here. The phantoms aren't around just yet. I don't know why. Hello! Really? No string. The zombie dropped me no flesh either. Oh, God, Jesus. Whoa! What is happening? Why is there like three of them? Whoa! Stop zooming around like that. Calm down. No string yet again. Today is a bad day. Today is a bad day. Oh, today is a worse day. Okay, I guess I'm going home then. Ah, yes. Burn. Burn. I don't ever want to see you again. I hope that today is the last day that I encounter you. Hey, how's it going, Jeff? Don't go too close to the water, man. I know that you guys kind of just fly out in one direction until the, well, the world ends, essentially. Please don't leave me this time. Please. I need you. All right, so what I'm going to do today is I'm sick of those phantoms. So we're going to head down this mine right here. Uh, I do have enough iron to make another pickaxe. I did expand this out as well last night. I just brought it up two blocks so that I can place stairs. But we're going to go down here and we are going to absolutely decimate any spiders or critters or whatever we see. Mainly spiders, hopefully, because I really want a bed. All right, I'm sick of the phantoms now. They're, they're making night miserable. Okay, so this cave, let's see where this goes. See if it opens up into another cave. Oh, there's a... Oh, huge. Okay, uh, might have some drowns on my hands now. Okay, maybe let's not go the ocean cave way and instead try and see what's over here. I think this literally does just lead back there though, right? Yeah, essentially. But maybe there's more over here, you know, you never know. Oh, there is more over here. Okay, well, this is the more over here. It's literally just some iron. Beautiful. Oh, there's even more iron. Oh, damn, this is a big vein. Sheesh, oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Why is there so much iron here? Oh my god, does it ever end? Is there more behind this? No, okay. 19 iron, I think I got three or four from the wall, so that was like 15 iron right there, that was crazy. Anything looking promising over here? I don't think so. No, tis a dead e Wait, what? No way. There's two spawners? What spawner is this, perhaps? Hmm? Maybe skeleton? I hear bones. Okay, I can't tell if it'll be a zombie or a skeleton spawner because I hear both. The moment of truth. What spawner is it? That seems like a skeleton spawner to me. Uh, how am I supposed to... Oh, there's a creeper in there too. Great. No, don't get near that creeper. No! Don't blow up. Creeper! Don't do that. Oh, this was a mistake! Oh! Oh! God, <laughs> why is there so many things in there? Why was there a creeper just chilling with them? What is this? Okay, I'm gonna have to cheese you out, man. I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. There we go. Oh, and a little mushroom too. How nice, how nice. Okay, we'll make sure that this is well and truly non-spawning anymore. What's in these chests? Some rotten flesh, we've got some leather there, some coal. Oh, <gasps> string, huge. Uh, tomato seeds, I'll take those. More string. Oh, this is massive. We have enough for a bed. <gasps> Iron. Uh, name tag. We can name uh, Jeff Bezos. And we got some cabbage seeds too. I doubt I'm ever going to get a horse, so there's no real point in the armor. And I hear a lot of things over here. Hello? Ooh, there are a lot of things in there. Hello. Just clear you out from here, you know? No fear of death. Well, our objective today is already complete. We have... I think more than enough string for the bed. And these caves seem to have opened up into more stuff. So I'll place a door down there and start making our way through this place. Light it up as we go along. We do need some more coal, but it looks like that this cave is providing well. Oh, it is. <laughs> it, it is. All right. Well, I'm going to grab up all this coal and this little bit of iron, and then we'll see what we want to do after that. Okay, I think that's all of it. Um, we have a lot of coal now. Uh, I didn't even get all of it, by the way, because it just kept going up in the roof over here, and I just, like, I can't be bothered getting that. I just want to check out up here, you know? Just want to have a little look. Little look. It looks like it opens up. Whoa! That's not right. That's not right in any degree. There we go. They're down. Okay, well, I'll come back for whatever resources are down in this cave later on. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back into the ravine. We're going to head back over towards home, but I'm going to go and loot that zombie spawner, I think it was, over at the other side, and then we'll go back up home and see what loot we have. OK, 
Okay, light it up. And what do we have in here? Some iron, some bones, melon seeds. Ooh, always nice to find. Uh, get rid of the spider eye. I'll take the bread. Oh, God, I'm running out of things to ditch. Uh, I'll get rid of the dirt and the andesite and the diorite. There we go. Disc, what was that, 13? Couldn't care less about. Oh, oh, what? This is huge. I, I, what? Hello? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'll take two enchanted gapples. Oh, my God. All right, I am going back home with my loot. This was a good idea to stop off right there. I'll tell you that right now. God, I've ne I don't think I've ever found two enchanted gapples in the same chest before. That is like insane. I think I'll spend some time tonight uh, before going to bed actually adding stairs to this because my biggest pet peeve is jumping up this stuff. It's, it's just awful. So I'm going to go and spend my night placing those and then hopefully get a little bit of sleep so the phantoms reset. And I will see you all in the morning. Unless, of course, you want to see me slowly going down this staircase, placing individual cobblestone stairs. I mean, I'm sure that this is this is worth watching right here. I'm going to keep talking so I don't cut the video right here, and then you just... All right, welcome to day seven. I'm glad that guy shut up. I don't know why he was rambling so much. And placing stairs is not a fun escapade. All right, so I'm going to take my newly iron smelted smelted iron my newly smelted iron i'm gonna craft an iron hoe and i'm gonna go and plant our tomato seeds cabbage seeds and melon seeds may as well throw a couple more wheat seeds down as well oh thank you for your stinky meat my friend oh no thank you to you whoa calm yourself down none of this oh there's two of you how is this fair how is this this is going against some geneva stuff this i'm telling you hey 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 we're bringing this fight to the ocean. I've spent some time in here. Okay, so I guess I'll just expand the farm out this way. I don't really care about this land, so, you know, whatever. Lovely. I don't know why I do this to myself, though, because I'm going to end up making a nicer farm later on, but I guess it helps me food-wise for now. There we go. Look at this. This is all coming together. Now, I think one of the things I want to do is I really want to try and start, like, leveling out some of this because I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of sick of jumping everywhere. Also, the holes that I put in the floor from getting the cobblestone on day one were uh, a mistake, to say the least. Okay, can I make myself some more bread? Yes, I can! Creep up! <sighs> oh, no. Why? Why? Like, luckily, I didn't really lose anything, but I thought I was dead. I don't know why I openly said creeper as if it was going to make any difference whatsoever about the outcome. We shall rebuild. Okay, and we have rebuilt, but <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't getting any birch wood out, so there we go. Oh, I actually had some in here, to be fair. Um, it looks considerably worse, but eh. Whatever. Okay, so what I was going to do before I was very rudely interrupted by that absolute menace is I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go grab my bones, and we're going to try and get a big jungle tree again. And hopefully, well, I don't lose all my stuff. Well, 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 what is happening up here? Hmm? What is happening up on my lovely volcano? Yeah, you go away. You go away. Couldn't remember if we were... Whoa, Jeff, don't do it, man. Whoa, calm yourself. Look, you're awfully close to that. Just just please move up a little bit, buddy. I've got a name tag for you, okay? You're special to me. Please move away from the lava. Look, I want no part in whatever's happening over here, okay? I want no part in it. Okay, so instead of going through all the hassle of getting a diamond pickaxe, I can just kill two birds with one stone right here and save Jeff whilst also creating myself a nether portal. Now, I'm probably not going to use it anytime soon, but so long as I kind of, you know, have it here, it should be okay. Uh, I'll just put it, like, in the wall here for now. I'm not really too fussed of where it is. I keep hearing this beehive drip on the floor, and I keep thinking it's like footsteps of a dog or something. I get really excited, but then come upstairs to absolutely nothing. <gasps> Ooh, the jungle tree grew as well. Amazing. Just threw lava on myself. Absolute idiot. <sighs> okay, finally, the last run for the obsidian. This has took me so long, but I've not really seen anything kind of dwelling on the island, so we're good. Oh, no, I take it back. There's a zombie right there. Okay, and boom. Boom. Lovely. Okay, we have a very disjointed nether portal in here, but I don't care. We have one now. So, I'm gonna head to bed and then see what we get up to tomorrow.
Okay, preemptively saying it, right? Preemptively saying it right here. Today, today is a good day. Today is a very good day because we're going to go and we're going to chop down that jungle tree and we are going to get an ungodly amount of saplings from it. I feel it. I feel it. You go away. You're not. You're ruining my day. I said it was going to be a good day. You're not. You're not adding to it. Oh, wow. Okay, one hit. No, oh, it is a good day. Come on. Like at least four saplings would be just perfect. Honestly, would be amazing. Oh, we got four. Any more? Yes, we got five. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, we got eight. Let's go. Yes. Oh my God. I told you. I told you. Today, good day. Now, I do really want to clean up this area, but mining all this stone with a non-enchanted pick is going to literally drive me insane. So maybe we don't do that right now. Actually, to be fair, I did just clear out, like, this isn't that bad, to be fair. If I can kind of push it back to here, that would be... Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'll push this area back a little bit so that we can actually start to set some things up over here. Why is there just a hole in the floor? My new building addiction is ponds, so we're going to definitely add a little pond on here. I'll throw some uh, some tropical fish in it, too, just to add a little bit of pizzazz, you know? All right, there we go. That was... It actually didn't take that long, but it looks absolutely awful now. Um, and I also discovered this random pit. There's a little pit down there. I don't know what that's about, but I'm covering it up. Throw my dirt in here. I don't know what I can do with this rope. What can I do with this rope? Rope. Oh, I can make... Wait, no, that's string. So what can this... A safety net? I can make a safety net? What does a safety net do? Oh, it's bouncy. Alrighty, yeah, so I think over the next couple of days then, what I want to do, I really do want to go and rescue uh, Jeff up here from his impending doom, but I'm kind of scared that if I place water down, it's going to push him in, if you know what I mean? I, I, I really don't know why he sat there, man. But yeah, so I want to rescue Jeff, and then I also want to start kind of, I guess, leveling out and planning out where I want to build my house up here. But then again, I'm thinking now, I've got a lot of stone to clear up, so I do kind of want to go and get some diamonds so we can at least enchant this pickaxe or get a diamond one. Oh, the choices, the choices. Uh, let's flip a coin. Let's flip a coin. Yep, okay, diamonds it is. We need to go get diamonds. Stack up on a couple more pickaxes where I guess we're okay on food. Do I have anything else in here? I'll bring the tropical fish for in case I get desperate, but I don't think it'll come to that. Um, and I guess let's just kind of bring this mine all the way down just keep the staircase going you know keep it flowing oh maybe not yeah maybe not right there maybe we keep it going down like right here that just seems like a, a very good spot i don't even know what level i want to be at to find diamonds it's like minus 50 something right or something i don't know i'm just gonna mine on this level i'm just gonna go straight forward right here and hopefully find a cave or j j anything anything <gasps> i hear life or at least what was once life and is now undead. But, like, it's close. Hello? They're kind of, like, to my left. Oh, I hear a bat. <gasps> yes! We have broke the surface. I thought that was diamond then, but it wasn't. It was just the stupid vines. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Oh, this looks promising, if I do say so myself. Oh, I hear some lava this way? I hear someone above me. To my right, hello. I'm yet again hunting for another cave because that one was absolutely trash. Okay, we seem to be going back up. I want to go in the other direction. I don't want to go back up. Uh, okay, this leads somewhere, I guess. Any further than what we have right now? Ooh, yeah, okay. New cave. <gasps> there it is! There it is! Yes! Oh my god. It's really rare that I feel this excitement when I find diamonds again. I... Uh, this is why. This is why it's really rare, because you only get one. You only ever get one. <gasps> There's a slime up there! I love them, but, like, getting him back to the surface is gonna be a real pain. Okay, a spider. I don't want to deal with no spider. Perhaps some more diamond for me? That is a big cave down there. Okay. Big slime. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Okay, you calm down. Okay, 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 okay. Things are gonna get a little bit out of hand here now. 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, there we go. We're all good, we're all good, we're all good. Just get some light down here. Don't know why I'm moving further in because, like, I'm just gonna corner myself in this case. He's down. Okay, skeleton, you're the biggest threat right now. That just. Did he hit that back at himself? Like, what was that? That situation went from zero to a hundred pretty quick. Okay, buddy. Okay, I know you're. I know you hurt. All right, I'm just gonna leave you as the little guys. I don't want to kill any of the little guys. If I do, I'm gonna be sad. No, I literally just said that. There's a lot of iron in this cave, but no diamonds. Stop it, please. I beg of you, just two. Just oh, there's one. At least one. Wow. Please, 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 please. Please, be good to me. Oh, oh yes, yes. Okay, that's all I want. That's all I want. We can go back up to the surface now. You know what? I'll take a peek down here, just a little peek. You no, know, never hurt anybody, um, and just see if there's any any more lurking. You know? <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, what is that on your bow? I'm always scared that it's gonna be like flame or something because I get I get so paranoid. Oh, stop, stop. Stop, I have two fish. Stop. Okay, please. Please be a good vein. Please be a good vein. That's one. At least two, man. Please. Psh, 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 psh. Diamonds. What is that? I, I, I ain't got time for that right now. I, I, need, I need diamonds. I need to get the ores of which I know of, not the random green blobby things. We're on the clock now because I really don't want to run out of food while I'm down here. Oh, that's another spawner. Oh, it could be worse. It's only spiders. Oh, wait, no, I thought this glow ink sack was a diamond. Uh, I guess I can check up near this waterway. Is that another spawner? I think it is, unless I've been here. No, that is that is another spawner, yeah. Wow, okay. Uh, backstabbing one. Ooh. Okay, well, one bread, you know, that could be the difference between life and death. And right now, it's going to give me full health. I'll also get rid of the spawner because I already have a zombie spawner. Sorry, buddy. This is not going well. <gasps> I was literally making my way out. I'm literally making my way out. Where is this? Oh. So there's this little cave right next to where I came in. Well, at least where I came into these caves. Is that more down there? Or is that just the reflection of them ones? I don't know. I don't care. Right. Okay. I was making my way out. We have found some more, but I am like out of food completely. So we'll grab this. I think there's two here, right? And then we're gone. Then we're absolutely gone. Oh, all right. That was that was some time spent down in these caves. I did I seriously walk past this? Nah, you're actually insane. You're actually insane if I did that. There's no way. There's no way. When I go back to edit this, if I see that in the recording that I just ran past this, I'm gonna be so angry with myself. Okay, well, I'm gonna make my way back home, and I guess I'll see you once I have returned. Okay, I, I came back. I've slept through the night. It stopped raining now as well. So, I'm gonna smelt down this stuff. Uh, I did have to eat some stinky meat on my way back up because it, it wasn't looking good for me. I got down to like two hunger and I didn't want to starve. So, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, so I'm gonna make myself a lovely diamond pickaxe and we're gonna head outside and we're gonna save our good friend, Jeff. What is the best way to do this? Maybe from the other side, right? So I can kind of push him onto the stone. Yes, 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 Jeff, my guy, he's free, he's free, there he goes, all he wanted to do was go home, but he was scared of the fire, well, lava essentially, but, you know, I, I'd be scared too, but he don't worry, there's no shame in it, I feel good, I did a good deed today, did a good deed, before I mine that obsidian though, I am gonna go and grab some food, because I am getting quite peckish, you back out buddy, I heard you pop, oh, there's two, you've got a friend, Jeff, uh, I need to name you so that, ooh, it's going to cost me a lot of iron, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All my, it's literally going to take all my iron. It's worth it, though. Jeff Bezos. All right. I heard another one come out, but I know which one's you. No, don't go back in. Why did he go back in? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's, it's, it's all good. He understands. He understands. It, it's hard to tell them apart, you know, the, the siblings. I heard him come out. I heard him come out. Right. Uh, I think it's you because you're going back over to this hive. So you're Jeff Bezos. Yes, Jeff, my guy. It's nice to have a friend out here in the salty abyss. 
Although, to be fair, this island has been pretty good to me. I mean, like, what? We found, like, five mob spawners or something. That's crazy. Okay, well, it's time for me to suffer for the next few minutes mining this stuff. You all know that I absolutely hate it. You know what, though? I'll actually, I'll use this time to check up on you guys. Yeah, I've not, I've not done that in a while. How, how are you all doing? How are you all doing? Uh, how's your day going? It's a good day. I hope it's a good day. And uh, happy new year. I don't know when this video is going to come out, but it will be after uh, January 1st. So happy new year to you all. I hope you all have a great time. Anyways, check up aside. Let me throw my crap in there. And then, oh, I grabbed way too much obsidian. I only needed four. Two... Boom. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so the enchantments are going to be terrible initially. I'm thinking maybe it'd be a good idea to kind of sail out and try and find some shipwrecks because I'm pretty sure they can have paper at the very least, if not books on them. So I think that might be a, a good idea. I mean, if I go out for like a day and I don't really find anything, then I'll, you know, I'll cut my losses and come back home. But I feel like there should be some shipwrecks. I mean, the entire rest of this world is, I think, just an ocean, so I don't see why there wouldn't be. We're doing, I guess, okay. I really could do with some new tools. I want to see if I can make some of the diamond weapons. I know that they're going to obviously want more, but let me have a look. So the diamond scythe. Oh, no, I can make a diamond scythe. <gasps> what about the halberd? Is that... Oh, oh I'm going to make the diamond halberd. That does 10 damage? That's absolutely insane. Boom. Oh, it doesn't even fit on the screen. <laughs> it's so big. Oh my god, why is it that big? <laughs> this is so goofy, man. What is the range on this thing? I'm going to test it out on a fish. Yeah, it's, it's like, kind of like the same as a sword, to be fair. It's not really too much better. And I'm drowning too. Lovely. Okay, well, I mean, the time down in the caves was pretty hectic and tedious but i th definitely think it was worth it we've come out with a diamond pickaxe and a chanting table and a shiny new diamond halberd that is uh, essentially the size of the empire state building it is massive so i guess what i'll do then tonight is i'm gonna head back down here um and i'm just gonna go grab some of the pieces of iron that i left down in the bigger caves down all the way down i think and then we can kind of restock on our supply of that all righty so we are now absolutely stacked up on iron look at this i mean we have one and a half stacks which is more than what we need and a nice little chunk of gold too which i'm not going to complain about where's jeff you jeff jeff have you moved to jeff why have you moved to this one buddy oh maybe maybe i named the wrong b you know maybe you are actually jeff and you know what i think that's what happened <laughs> i think i named the wrong b it's all good. You're Jeff now. Uh, you're the stupid lava bee then, I guess. We'll head out to see, to see if there's anything like shipwreck wise that'll be super useful for us. Um, I, I really want anything to do with paper. Anything to do with paper or books straight away would be just the perfect find. Okay, so we'll just head out this way and see what awaits us in these very murky depths. I can't see really anything down there. Oh, uh, I think I think I see one right here. I think I see the bow of one. Is it, is it the bow? Like the front of the ship? Like the masts are the things on top, right? So it's... Uh, either way, it's the front of the ship, man. Okay, I should have really brought some doors down here. Actually, no, there should be a door, right? There is... Oh, there is, but it's... Oh, there we go. Okay, no bread. Uh, not no bread. No uh, uh, paper. No paper. Well, I guess we're looking for another ship then. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know what? I'll take the wheat though. The wheat is is okay, I guess. Okay, I've kind of looped around my island instead of going really far out because I thought, well, if I can find things that are close by, then why not use them, you know? Any paper? No. Emeralds that are useless uh, and some iron as well. Okay, uh, I need to get out of here before I start drowning. Oh, let me up. What other loot do you have to offer? You better have something good. Okay, paper. <gasps> yes, massive. It's only a little bit, but oh my god, is that amazing. <gasps> is that another ship I see? It is. Oh, this one's in good condition too. Hello, I have arrived. Wait, can't those structures as well have paper like the, uh, the ruins? If I'm not mistaken, I probably am, but I think they can have paper. <gasps> oh, beautiful. Uh, a buried treasure map. Uh, I can come back for that if I want it. I'm not really too fussed. Paper, yes. <gasps> oh, potatoes. That's actually huge. And a moss block. <gasps> yes. 
we can get azaleas. Oh my god, okay, this has been an amazing day. I'm going back to this island, and I am staying put. I have everything I need now to kind of chill here. You are not included in the things I need, though. Go away. Okay, I know this. I, I was literally about to say, I know there's creepers out here, and you were right outside my door. Oh, there's three of you. Wow. Wow, okay. Um, I guess the most efficient way to deal with this situation would just be to bring you all out into the water, right? And then just have one of you blow up. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, I love doing that. Now, I'm going to place this singular moss block here. Uh, and I should have really not used up all that bone meal. I only really need to spread that... Uh, oh, what's it called? The moss. I only need to spread the moss once. So, this should be enough. Yes! Yes! And I'll bring one block of it back with me for in case a creeper does come and ruin all of my lovely work. So, I'm thinking house-wise then, I want to set it up on... I feel like this, like right here, this kind of level, if we were to start flattening it out, this would be perfect for it. Because it's it's wide enough so that we can have like kind of like a house area up here, maybe something outside, like a little balcony or whatever, and still be able to, like, it not look super wrong. If it does, I can just manually go through and change it, but... Let's just hope that it doesn't have to come to that. Yeah, I think I chose the perfect height for this because then I can have it. Yeah, 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 this can look good. So yeah, I'll do the, the house coming down from there. I'll do a staircase round. Um, and I think I might actually start expanding out the island a little bit. Do we have some? Yeah, we have a little bit of dirt. So I'll get on with adding some of this around as well. Maybe, hmm. No, you know what? Instead of adding the dirt around, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig up all this stone and replace it with dirt so that it stops looking so damn awful. Whoa! Oh! What was... What, hello? What is this? What is this cavernous area? Where does that go? Nowhere. Oh my god, I thought I was about to die then. I literally walked over that and fell and I was like, oh, I'm dead. I, I, I don't know why there's a hole there. What is that? Why can I not place blocks today? What is wrong with me? Okay, yeah, so that is looking a little bit better. I am going to add a little bit of texture and depth to it, but I kind of want to just get the, I guess, the base outline of everything set out before I start going into real detail with it. Also, can we just take just a second to think about the fact that I wasted 30-something iron on an anvil to name a bee? I literally wanted to call it Jeff Bezos so bad, I wasted all my iron on it and now have a bee called Jeff Bezos, which I think... I'm not 100% sure, but I still think it's the wrong one. Okay, there we go. Now we finally recovered from the creeper explosion from earlier. <laughs> okay, bookshelves and farming stuff aside, I think now is probably, well, probably the right time to actually start work on trying to clear out the rest of this area, or at least as much as we possibly can. Um, and in the meantime, that sugar cane is going to grow, and we're going to have a nice leveled place to uh, start building our house. I am not looking forward to getting rid of that lava, though. That is, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a terrible enchant on this pickaxe because, well, to be fair, you know, if I lose the diamond pick, it is what it is. Like, we can go get more diamonds, but doing it with iron is just slightly too slow. Um, and even if we only get on breaking on this, then it will last a little bit longer. I'm breaking two, yeah, that's, that's all we get. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. <gasps> Ooh, that was close. Hello, uh, you're gonna go and uh, turn to obsidian now. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Stay in that. Stay in that. I don't want this. Hey, Jeff. Uh, not Jeff. The the fake Jeff. Uh, don't come near the lava. Bro, why are you the same as your friend over there? What you do? Where do you go? Oh, okay. I thought you went in the lava then. <laughs> okay, so progress has indeed been made. I'm not looking forward to, uh, well, that, but. All in all, we have, I think this is way more than what we need for the house, actually, especially with what I'm planning. So, but yeah, I guess, you know, for the evening, I may as well try and take away some of this. It's, it's not going to get much, honestly. I think I can get five done before the sun goes down. Seems I was incorrect. I can get seven done before the sun goes down. So close enough. Okay, I'm going to take some of this with me. And I think tonight I'll head back down the mines and try and find uh, some more Diamondes. I see why I never checked this place out. Oh, my God. Oh my god, there's an infestation down there. Hey, all okay? I just need to check if there's any diamonds down there. It's, uh, nothing that I can see. Ow! Stop! That's not friendly. Okay, yeah, there's another cave as well over here to the right, I think, down here. 
that I haven't really explored too much. I think, to be fair, I think they link to the same cave, but I'm not too sure. Oh, no, it is the same cave. It is. Ah. Hello. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wah! A lot of lava around these parts. Don't mind if I introduce myself. Hello. Any diamond? Oh, there is some diamonds. I was, I was right, actually. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. That was... Oh. <laughs> that was, like, seconds away from death. I didn't even see this hole. All right, give me these diamonds. Um, I'll be happy with just two. Like, that's that's fine. Oh, you see, look at that. You see, when you act like you're happy with a less amount, they give you more. Wait, if I just throw this down from up here, uh, that's created more problems for me. I'm essentially just making a lava cast at this point. That's not, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. That, yeah, uh, I'll go around the back of it. It's fine. Okay, I'll head back up and just take what we have now. I, I keep getting so lost in these caves. I've been cutting it out because I, I just get so confused. <laughs> right, so if I grab some jungle wood, I just want to mark out the base parameters. Base parameters. The, the base kind of where I want to put the logs for the wall. I guess it would be base parameters, wouldn't it? Okay, so that's one. And I kind of want to have them four apart. I think this will work a little bit better. Yeah, that works. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's go through and place these on it. Okay, so I'm actually going to go and grab some... No, I'm not. I'm going to go and get some stone. I'm going to put it in this furnace. I'm going to see what I can do with normal stone when it comes to, like, the new blocks in this... Is it this one? No, that's the carpenter's one. What's the mason one? Hello? Boom. Boom. Yeah, there we go. I'll throw this one right here. There we go. Tiny mossy stone bricks. Let's have a look at these. Ooh. Kind of like that. I've realized that I've spent like <laughs> half the day in here messing with stone, but it's all good. We now understand how it works. Okay, yeah, right. So I'm going to smelt down some coal for tonight. I'm going to AFK here while it does it. Uh, I'll probably throw in some jungle logs as well because we're going to need a lot. Oh, hello, buddy. You're a sneaky one. Yeah, yeah well, you didn't. Uh, okay, <laughs> you didn't last long. I'm curious, is there any other recipe with, with all these mods to make paper? Uh, tree bark. Wait, what? I can use tree bark? How do I get tree bark? Is that from shaving logs, maybe? Okay, so Future Poppers is just going to step in here and save you all some time and a little bit of frustration because I spent so long trying to figure out how to get tree bark and literally did everything completely wrong and wasted a whole bunch of resources in the process. But eventually, I did decide to Google it and found out that all I needed to make was a chopping board and strip the wood on that. So yeah, I apologize for my utter stupidity right here, but hey, I got there in the end, I guess. Okay, we have 32 bone meal, so I mean, I guess that's uh, okay. It's not a lot, but we have more than what we had before. Also, a lot of people get triggered that I build my axes backwards. It just feels natural to me to build them that way. I don't know why. Yeah, so for everybody who gets triggered by it, th there's, the, there's the proper way to do it. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, well, we should need, like, what, one more bug shelf now? And we'll be maxed out level 30 enchants that I can't even get right now. Yeah, one more. What can I get on that? Smite 4. That's actually going to be really good. Okay, another successful day. I successfully lost all my jungle wood. Okay, so let's kind of just forget about yesterday's shenanigans. How's it going, Jeff and friend? Where's your name tag? Oh, wait, you're not Jeff. Wait. Huh? Okay, you know what? There's there's more bees now, apparently. But yeah, let's kind of just forget about yesterday's shenanigans. You know, I, I don't even remember anything happening. You know, I wasn't an absolute idiot. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to take these vines and I'm going to create a little vine farm. Now, I've never done this in my entirety of time playing this game, but it seems pretty simple. You essentially just line them up in rows and then have them grow. They don't need a specific light level. They don't need like anything other than a little bit of space to grow um, and a vine. So... That's essentially it. Now, the sole reason I'm doing this is because I've been thinking of build ideas and testing things out in the test world, and the certain blocks in this, mossy variants of them, look so, so good, and I just need them in this build. So we're going to need a lot of vines. We're also going to need a whole bunch of stone too, but I mean, I, well, what am I getting right now? You know, it's, it's not necessarily hard. 
Boom. There we go. Okay. I don't know if this is going to be uh, big enough. I know I can get two layers in here, but I don't necessarily know how I want to do that. Maybe like this and then have it come down here. Right. Okay. So we'll place those down there and then we'll just have them going along the top like this and they should grow. Bear in mind, the image I saw for a vine farm, I saw like an automated one from like last year. And then I saw this one from like 1.0 and I was like, yes, this is the one we're going with. I don't want to do it automated. It's only vine. Surely they'll grow quick. Boom. Okay. There we go. Look at that. It's already growing onto the roof. <gasps> oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was the only one we had grow. Oh, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. No, no worries. No worries. Okay, so we don't actually need as much jungle wood as I initially thought because a lot of the house that I'm going to build is made out of oak anyway. Um, well, it should be made out of spruce, but we're compromising and going with oak. Uh, why did I put the shears back in the chest, man? I need to get vines. Come here, you beautiful green hanging item. Uh, Jeff, are you around, buddy? Are you? Oh, there you are, buddy. How you doing? How you doing? Why is there three of you now? I don't know. Maybe there was three of you before. I don't know. Okay, so what I do want to do is I do want to go and enchant another pick because I want level 30 stuff, and I think we have level 30, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, so what can I smelt down to give me XP? I may have to resort to smelting copper. Yeah, that didn't even put the bar up at any degree. Okay. Well, I guess for the evening, then I'll head back down here and just mine up anything and everything that I find. Redstone, coal, iron, gold, diamonds, maybe. And just stack up on some XP so that we can get some level 30 enchants in the morning. Okay, well, that was something last night. It was a little bit chaotic. We got a little bit of stone from it too. But now if I take this out and I take this out, there we go. Perfectly level 30. Uh, we also have a little bit of redstone from our ventures down there. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three lapis lazuli and I'm going to go and pop some good enchantments on this pickaxe. Come on, give me something good. Right. I, I would really like, like, efficiency four. That would be just amazing. Don't give me silk. Actually, no, do give me silk touch because I need normal stone. Oh, oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts real bad. That was literally just on breaking three. Ooh, I'm going to make a grindstone. Jeff, J whoa, whoa, Jeff, whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't just drop in like that. Hello? He just came in the house trying to make a grindstone and then my gun just came in and harassed me okay i'll just throw that there and then we're gonna get rid of and breaking two on this one uh and then i'll go and enchant it again at like 27 well i guess it has to be 27 doesn't it um and hopefully let's pray that it gives me just any efficiency would be nice oh oh and there's efficiency four but that requires level 28 Oh, right. Okay. 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 That's a guaranteed efficiency four. So I guess, uh, what can I do to get that? Well, stop raining. Okay. Well, I guess we need a bunch of stone anyway. So I guess I'll get some of this smelting down and hopefully that'll give me some like XP, I guess. Um, I also could do with going and getting some fish. So may as well take those out. Uh, <coughs> definitely wasn't using the crafting book. I know how to craft a grindstone. What do you mean? Wait, I, should, I planted some potatoes, didn't I? Yeah, I did. There we go. I can cook these up. These will give me some XP. Okay, I decided to hell with the stone, and I just used up all my bones, made them into bone meal, and then got a bunch more potatoes, because these give me, like, so much more XP than, like, a 15 stack of this stone gives me the same XP as, like, three potatoes. Like, it's crazy. I say that, and I just picked up two, and I got nothing, but... Yeah, it's getting dark now as well, so I <laughs> literally wasted the whole day in here just trying to get level 28. Okay, all right. Hopefully nothing sneaks up on me while I'm doing this. Efficiency four. Oh, that is amazing. Silk touch two. Now, it's kind of a 50-50. I do kind of want to keep this pickaxe as its own thing then. Because that is actually going to be really good for cleaning out areas and getting stone. And then I guess I'll put another enchantment on this one. Try and get fortune or, or something. I don't know. Okay, well, considering I've completely wasted the day, I'm just going to go and uh, fix this here vine farm 
Uh, and I'll be back with you in the morning. So, after somewhat wasting day 20 in the morning, I decided to be much more productive and did some more work on the beginning of the house. Now, I have no clue what was wrong with me on this day, but I just kept building things wrong and messing up at every single step. So, I have no clue what was happening, but eventually I managed to snap out of the stroke I was apparently having, and eventually things started flowing smoothly and actually looking like I planned it. Then once night fell, I headed back into my little hidey hole, crafted up some stone variants to add a little bit of detail, and after having a nice little nap, continued on building over the following days, adding the stone I crafted last night, and eventually finishing off the front part of the wall slash support thing that my house is eventually going to sit on top of. And then for the final day of building for the minute, I did some landscaping. So I, I guess it's not really building, but it counts, okay? It counts. Anyways, I wanted to clean up the bottom of where the pillars began to kind of level it out a bit so that things weren't floating all over and so that it's easier to work around because that area is so annoying to build things in because I just kept falling down into my own little cave home and it was infuriating. But what's even more annoying and infuriating is when I started to edit this and get all the footage together, I found out that replay mod broke and recorded like nothing, so that's fun. However, once the landscaping was finished off for now, things were looking pretty good. And by pretty good, I mean don't look around the sides because it's really bad. But I'm 100% sure that I'm going to fix that later. Also, the front of it looks a little bit blocky and that's part of the design and you'll see why a little bit later on. Alrighty, so after our previous day's escapades and, uh, well, we actually did make a decent amount of progress, but it was just a little bit weird to build because I forgot what I wanted to do, so I just built it all wrong, but either way, we have a pretty good start to our, I'm gonna say house, but it's really just the foundation for the house, because what I'm planning is we're gonna have a staircase right here that'll lead all the way up to our lovely little balcony area. And then the house is going to be right here. Uh, you stay away from the lava, and so do you. Are you Jeff? Jeffy? No? Oh, yeah, you are. You are. Okay. So, yeah, we still need to get rid of that obsidian up there, and we have a lot more work to do, but that is a pretty good start. Now, I am kind of thinking that I want to do something with the bees, but I don't have... Actually, let me go make some campfires. I was going to say I don't have any honey, so we've got to get some of that real quick. Right, just place you down there, and then place you down here. There we go, right. I'll make some new shears because why not? I definitely wasn't using the crafting book again. Right, don't get mad. Okay, yeah, you're chill, you're chill. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, give me that. Beautiful, okay. Okay, so now that we've got them, I actually don't know where I want to place them though because I can kind of have like the bee area down there or I can have it up here behind my house in this little area that I'm planning to make like a little garden corner, I guess. I guess I'll see them more if they're down bottom, but I guess I'll come back to that later. I think then for the rest of today, I'm going to get my lovely Efficiency 4 Silk Touch pickaxe because it's going to tear through it a lot quicker. And I'm going to get rid of all of this obsidian, hopefully, I pray. Because if I don't do it now, I'm just going to keep putting it off and it's never going to get done. Oh, oh God, I almost stepped into that. Maybe not do that, poppers. Thank you. Oh! Lava, hello. <sighs> okay, we are on to the final stretch of the obsidian right here. It's the final layer, I think, at least. I don't think there's any more underneath it. And then it's it's all gone. It's all gone. I never need to mine another block of obsidian in this entire playthrough. It's cause for celebration, that is. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Nice and obsidian free. By the way, while mining that, I was kind of thinking, I don't think I've ever told you guys why I hate mining obsidian so much, but years and years ago, I was playing on a server with my friends, and I used to do the obsidian mining for them, for like diamonds and stuff, they'd pay me as like a kid, um, and I mined so much obsidian, and we built so many things with it, uh, there was one guy who was like building like this huge kind of fortress castle thing, um, and I was mining obsidian for like four hours straight, it was, it was awful. Also, like the other year I did the uh, transform the end video and that mining obsidian just gave me flashbacks to that as well and uh, yeah so essentially I don't think I'm ever going to recover from the work I did as a child for my friend building an obsidian fortress but yeah that's why I despise mining it so much I, <laughs> I've just mined too much of it to be fair there you go there's a little bit of popper's law for you I don't think I've ever said that before Oh my god, I've got so much obsidian. I was going to say, in celebration of me finishing that uh, obsidian mining, we could go and head into the nether. But when I'm saying it out loud, it's not really a celebration. It's more kind of like a more of a torture for me. But it's all good because we can trade our gold. 
I don't think I really need to make anything with it. I could maybe make, yeah, I can make a couple gapples, but other than that, like, what am I going to use it for? Okay, so I'll craft myself some nice gold booties, and then let's head in and see where we are. If it's a basalt delta, then it is torture. Ah, uh, okay, not, not as bad. I think that might be a basalt delta up there. This, okay, no, you know what? I'm okay with this. This is, oh, I am really okay with this. Is that a, oh, I have never seen that one before, I don't think. Or at least not like that. That is so cool. Oh, we have got to, wait, is that? I don't think that's base game. Maybe it is. I don't know, is that base game? I can't zoom in. I still haven't installed the mod that allows me to zoom in. But that looks really cool. Is that like a little fortress or something? Whoa, forgot about you guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Forgot about you guys. Oh, I am so bewildered by that. We need to we need to go down there, but I don't think I'm anywhere near geared up for that. If it is base game and then there's Piglin Brutes down there, I'm donezo. So I definitely need some... What is that light over there? Is that just the shaders bugging out? Or is that... Oh, no, that's lava. That's lava. I'm an absolute idiot. <laughs> well, let's have a little wander around here, see if we can find ourselves any piggies. I don't even know what I want to get from their trades to be fair i don't think there's anything that i really need from them per se i hear a, a pillowcase where is it what is that green ore? oh there's some here what are you hello what are you huh maybe maybe i should try and grab one with silk touch i have no clue what that is is there some around here there's some over there all right let's make our way over here i really i'm really curious about what that ore is Ah, there's some more here. Right, what are you? I really should have had the mod on that tells me what I'm looking at, but what is that? Can I not? Hello? I can't silk touch you. But you don't drop anything. Is it just an XP ore? I did accidentally install uh, an ore mod that I never removed, so that could be what it is. <laughs> I wanted, um, I put an ore mod on that makes uh, things spawn differently. So if you look, the quartz will look a little bit different. Um, and it can spawn like in basalt and stuff instead of just being netherrack. The same in the overworld where diamonds can spawn in diorite and stuff. But while putting that in, I think I may have accidentally installed another one, which I think is that mod. And if I just go and check it now, I guarantee that I have. One sec. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so it is. It's experience ores. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> they're kind of useful, I guess, if we want to enchant and just come in here and farm them out. All right, let me go back home real quick. I'll go and grab some building materials and I'll just block off our little portal for now and make it a little bit more secure. I really never ever put any effort into making like a nether base. I might do this time. I I'm not making any promises though, but like I never make them. I don't know why. I guess because you're kind of like in the nether briefly and then you're just done with it once you've got the stuff you need, but we're not going to the end in this one, so... I guess we can come to the nether for whatever we want, whenever we want. Like, there's no specific purpose? I, I don't know. Either way, when I was picking up this stone, I noticed that the chests are in a little bit of a disarray, so I feel a, I feel a storage day coming on. My signature 100 days day is storage day. The best day. Okay, so now that we're back from our venture in the nether, I do have quite a few nether blocks, so you know what that means. I was talking about it in the nether, you can see them in my hotbar. It's storage day, right? But not as you know it, because it's storage day part one, because I guarantee there's going to be another one later on. And I know what you're thinking. It's a little bit early for storage day poppers. What are you doing? Well, I'm throwing a curveball in there, aren't I? Yeah, storage day. Uh, I don't actually know where I'm going to build my storage, though. Maybe if I move these, like, outside, and then I can kind of use this. Why am I breaking it with a shovel? Oh, I forgot about you. Hello, buddy. <laughs> I should break the bench and see him staring into my soul. Go away, spider. Where are you? Go away. Go on. Yeah, I'll move this stuff outside and then we'll uh, work with what we have in here. Even though this stuff is going to get moved now because I do need this area for other things later. I guess. Let me just throw them here for now. That's not where I wanted to place that. Can I throw you there? Throw you there. And then where's the other one? There it is. Mason table. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Uh, and I guess, you know what, I'll put you out in the elements, good sir. Um, and you can go right here with your little chopping board on top. There you go, see? You look much happier. And now it is time for the day of storage to commence. Do I have... Oh, I do. I have a bunch of leather left over. Thank you, Rotten Flesh into Leather Mod. You are absolutely goated. 
Okay, and finally, there we go. Storage day has now finished, and we're looking, well, better than we did before. However, this is all going to be, like, pulled down and moved later on. But for now, this will do just solely because I was sick of going into a chest and then pulling out something that, like, I didn't want. So this has just kind of organized things a lot nicer. We also do still have an obscene amount of leather, um, plus the 40 rotten flesh, which, you know what, I may as well just cook down into leather now. So we can make as many item frames as we could, well, ever want, really. We've got so much. So I think what I'll do just before I head to bed is I'll throw a couple torches down around this area and then see what we can get up to tomorrow. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like going to the nether was a bad idea because I can't stop thinking about that structure, man. I wanna go and take it on, but like I've only got iron armor and I'm not feeling too confident in my ability to do it, especially with this not enchanted either. But what I wanna do is I'll enchant a iron pick, right? We'll go through a couple of, the oh, actually no, we can only use the, we can do use the single one because I can just disenchant it. But I wanna try and get, oh! That's exactly what I wanted to try and get. Um, okay, uh, I just need a little bit more XP, which I think this leather might give me. I'm not too sure. There's a possibility when that smelts down, it'll give me the rest of the XP I need. So I'll throw that in there. Anything else I can kind of schmelt down for XP? Uh, oh, no, not really. Because the plan is to get Fortune 3 on this bad boy. And then once we have that, we're heading down the mines. We're going to deck ourselves out with Diamondes because um, I really want to check out that structure. I can't stop thinking about it. The vine farm is uh, doing pretty well. This new layout works a lot better than the last one. We have like uh, a couple stacks in here now. I haven't really been harvesting them as much as I should be, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll get enough. Don't worry. Okay, and this hopefully should... No, it didn't. Okay, now this hopefully should... There we go. Okay, right. So let me throw Fortune 3 on this pickaxe and then we'll head down into the caves and make some money. Well, not money really, just diamonds, but I guess it's money in a sense because they're valuable. I, I don't know. Okay, let's make our way down here. This looks somewhat promising. It's quite deep. I'm pretty sure I've already been down here though. Yes, I have. Ah, okay, so here's where one of the spawners was. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be real with you for a moment. Um, you remember like a second ago when I said, right, I do know where I am. Uh, I, I don't. I really don't. I have no clue where I am. <laughs> I'd like to say this place looks promising, but... Ooh, ooh, actually, it's starting to. It's starting to. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Let it cook. Let it cook. Oh, this place is looking promising. Ooh, okay. Or is this leading me back down to the cave where I went with the lava? Yes, it is. It's okay. No, but I actually know where I am from here. An Enderman down there. No. Okay, and now I, well, I still don't know where I am, but we have breached new territory. We've never been over in these caves before. I saw them earlier, but never decided to come over here because I was too scared. Ooh, this looks promising. Yes, there's a diamond already. Oh, I love this. Where's that zombie gone? I swear I just, what? Where are you, buddy? Oh, you're drowning. Okay, well, I don't want to deal with that problem when it comes, so just go away. Right. Give me the fattest stack of diamonds I have ever seen in my life. Even if it's just one ore, I want like a thousand from it, all right? Give me two. Okay, well, it's better than one. Oh, this is a massive cave. Hello, buddy. Killed your friend a second ago. Oh, I thought the iron up there in the roof was a mine shaft then. Ow. Okay, 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 okay. It's a pretty stinky behavior going off here. Stop shooting at me, man. You fell down. I've got the high ground. You should understand this. Ow! Oh, you're back up. Okay, hello. It's okay. I'll come deal with you. Say goodbye, good sir. Say goodbye. Oh, no, you didn't die. Okay, no, it's fine. There we go. Now you're dead. Okay, right. Well, oh, wait, what was that? Was that? Yes! Oh, my God. Right, okay. So we've got two diamonds now. Give me like a thousand, bro. Oh, that was stinky. Ew, really? Okay, well, you know, at least it's two more than what we had. My guy, what are you doing down there? You know what? You can just yeah, I'm just gonna let him I'm just gonna let him kill himself with his own arrows. <laughs> this is gonna be way more entertaining. <laughs> You're struggling down there, buddy. I don't even need to block with my shield, man. He's just gonna do it anyway. <laughs> oh, there we go. Another one. He's hitting himself with every arrow he shoots. Oh, God. That is amazing. 
What an idiot, dude. What an idiot. Okay, that's either a glow squid or there's some diamond all the way at the back down there. There's also a bunch of skeletons. It's time to brawl. Let's do it. Come on, boy. Oh, you can hit with that combo. Oh. Oh my god, there's literally an army of them. That is not- Oh, actually, no, that is what I want. Go, boom. That was actually super helpful. Damn, man, that was a lot of zombies. I've not- Oh, oh, no. It is a lot of zombies. They're still coming. I've not seen that many in a long time. Oh, that's a zombie villager. I killed one earlier, but, like, I don't have a way to cure it just yet. Um, And I've not got, like, a name tag to keep him around. Besides, I don't- I'm not, like, that patient. I need things to happen, like, right now. Playing with fire right here. Oh, what did I just say? What did I just say? What did I just say? Okay, I don't want anything to do with you, good fellows. I am just going to go on my merry way and grab the diamond that I think I saw, which I did actually see. Would you look at that? You're not going to follow me down here, right? You wouldn't do such a thing, right? No, the answer is no. They wouldn't do such a thing. All right, come on. Big money. Wait, was that? Really? You're just giving me one? This isn't... Oh, wait, no, no. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Yes, yeah, seven. We got some leggings. Some pantaloons. Oh, there's another zombie villager. You know what? I'm actually not too sad about killing them then. If they're spawning in this frequently, then, you know, I'll just... I'll take him down, you know? I've got no quarrels against that. No quoms. I don't know. <gasps> oh, but I do know that's a diamond. Big money. Ten diamonds. So, uh, Bro, have they nerfed Fortune 3? Where is that spider? Where <gasps> well, I found the spider, but I've also found some diamonds. <gasps> yes, I see you peeking around the corner. Come to me. Oh, that gave me three. 23, is that enough for... Is it? I don't know. No, I need one more. And yes, I didn't do the math in my head. I lined them out in... It's 8 for the chest plate, 7 for the leggings, 4 for boots, and 5 for a helmet. <laughs> okay, so I just need a singular diamond. And I'm telling you this now, buddy. You're not him. Alright, you're not him. You ain't gonna stand in the way of me and my diamond. Look, see? Told you. Told you. You ain't him. Where is this taking me? Oh, <laughs> to my grave, possibly. Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away. Go away. You tried sneaking up behind me. <gasps> you snuck up behind me. I'm fine with that. There we go. Okay, yeah. So we have enough now for a full set of armor. I would like to get some enchants on it before we head in, but like it's not too dire. Like I'll just enchant like a couple pieces. That's fine. Let's check out this little area right down here, see if there's any more lurking around. And then I will make my way back home, which is probably going to take me about nine years to find because I have absolutely no idea where I am. Like, I am so lost. It's <laughs> it's unbelievable. However, on my way back, I will mine up uh, a bunch of ores and stuff. Bro, these cave noises need to stop. But yeah, I'll mine up a bunch of ores just to get the XP. Um, while slowly making my way back. So that's probably going to take up like a day in itself. All right, would you look at that? It's future post-editing poppers right here again because I'm an idiot and didn't notice that for like half of day 31, I had my OBS slightly offset. And uh, by slightly, I mean quite a lot. So let me just give you a rundown of what I did real quick so that we can move on and completely forget about this rookie error on my part. So once I got back home, I heard a wandering trader somewhere above my house and went to check him out, but he didn't really have anything. I, I wasn't super interested in his stock because it was pretty stinky. After checking him out, I made myself a full set of shiny new diamond armor and enchanted it with some okay enchants. They're not the best, but they'll do for now. And I think that's it. So we can go back to non-wonky OBS now. Apologies. Okay, well, uh, sorry about that. I, uh, I am a professional. Okay, I do do this for a living, but I didn't notice that my OBS was completely wonky right there. So I'm sorry about that. We get back to it. 
So I guess I'll wait for this to smelt down. Hopefully we get one more level 30 from it. I think we should, especially from all this gold. I think we should be okay. And then I'll throw some enchants on the helmet and hopefully it's good. I can kind of scrimp out on the, the leggings. Like if I get level 28, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not looking good for that level 30 enchant, but um, it's fine. You know, it's fine. We'll we'll just go cheaper. We'll go cheaper, and then we'll get a new shield, and I really want to go and check out what that thing is in the nether. I might be... Ooh, actually, you know what? Right, let's do it. I'm going to go and enchant the halberd instead, because if it's got good rolls right here, then... We kind of got to do it. Fire aspect one or sharp. Oh, that's level 30 though. That's stinky. Uh, let me check what I can get in a book then. Don't know why I always overcomplicate these things, man. It's not that It's not that hard. Uh, okay, no, I don't want any of that. No, that's that's awful. Okay, well, screw it. We'll put fire, fire aspect on it and see if we get any luck. Smite two. I mean, yeah, I'll take it, I guess. And then I may as well enchant the uh, the leggings while I'm here. Not really going to get much better for them. Oh, that was actually pretty good. All right. So we've got our gapples. I think I have some more gapples in the food chest. Yeah, I do. Okay, we'll take these with us. I'll grab some more stone. I don't actually know how close I am to that thing, so I'll grab a little bit more stone. And then I guess let's prepare and, and head in and check out what actually that fortress thing really is. Okay, Mr. Skeleton, you wouldn't be the type of skeleton to shoot me off this thing, would you? Asking for a friend. No, you seem pretty chill right there, to be fair. Okay, we should be, like, right above it right now. Or at least close enough. Ooh, what is that place? Oh, I hear a ghast. Go away. You're not wanted here. Ooh, okay, I see a potential entrance of my own making right here. I'm still not seeing anything spawned in, so... It's being pretty chill so far. Okay, we have arrived. Um, I'm so confused by this. There doesn't seem to be anything spawning in, which I'm not going to complain about, but I am a little bit scared. So can I blast protection three nether brick? Like, I mean, I guess I'll take it for the XP. I'll take the string for whatever reason too. Okay. Oh, oh no, 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 no. That was the worst possible thing it could spawn. Why is it spawning those? You shouldn't even exist in the nether, my guy. Go away. Go away. You can't get up here, right? You can't get up here, right? Like it's, it's just not possible for you to get up here. Oh, and because of the zombified ones, fire aspect does nothing to them. Let me hit you. Oi, let me hit you. Come here. Is there any more chests over that way? Oh, God. Okay, right. Well, now that I actually know what we're dealing with, I am slightly less wanting to be in here. <laughs> oh, that is in some aspects much worse. Okay, come on. All stack up. All stack up. And I'll uh, I'll deal with you in a nice fashion, okay? Maybe drop me a skull. I wouldn't mind getting a beacon. Right, I need to make my way over here and deal with this. You can't get up here, right? You, you... No, you can't. Okay. Oh, God. So scary. There we go. All right. Your spawner is down. Oh my god. There's so many. Bah! There we go. That'll teach you. Can I get this chest? Luck of the sea. I did this for luck of the sea. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Can you all like stack up in an area, please? I, 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 oh, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah. Come on. There's going to be a singular skull down there somewhere. Come on. Come on. All your friends died. Now it's your turn. Yeah, there you go. Oh, God. Stop spawning in. Just going to meet the same fate as them, man. Can I reach that from here? Uh oh There we go. Okay, right. You're the last uh, You're the last of a bad bunch right here. Just going to make myself a little temporary shield from that ghast because I don't trust it. And then I guess we'll put an end to all you. Okay, that should be all of them. Okay. I'm feeling somewhat safe on the ground here. I don't know what's in that middle bit. I see some candles. And you just give me gunpowder, iron, and arrows. Okay. <sighs> this is not being very lucrative for us at the minute. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Okay, please don't be a awful spawner in here. Oh, no, it actually seems pretty chill in here. Wow. Uh, oh, God, the loot is terrible, though. Like, the loot is really bad. Wait, what is this? I heard, I heard like, wither skeletons or something spawn. Yeah, I hear them. Okay, any better? Bone blocks? I guess I'll take them. Like, none of this stuff is good, man. Mending. Like, okay, great. I've got a golden chest plate with mending. How lucky am I? I hear them all around me, man. Just gonna make myself a little safe area right here. 
Where are they? Wait, is this multiple floors? Oh, God. Okay, this is uh, pretty awful. No, ow, stop. What's in that chest? Fire aspect two, great. I pray it doesn't spawn a big one. I don't think they can get down here. I'm just gonna make sure that they can't. Ow, it spawned a big one. Go away. I hate you. You'll never be slimes. You are way worse than slimes. All right, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. There we go. Okay, well, maybe we approach that area right above us from the surface because I'm not fancying my chances going at it from the underground. So is this, this is the hogland place, right? Yeah, it is, it is, it is, okay. So if I go back up here, we can then tackle those wither boyos from the top. Oh my god. Okay, there's, there's more than initially thought around here. There is a lot of them. Come on. Come here. God, how am I supposed to get in there, man? Check a thousand wither skeletons at me. What do you expect me to do? Oi, come over here, buddy. I'm right there. Come on. Come on. You're just going to take this. Oh, now, now you're reacting. Yeah. Okay. I have a plan. Oh, my God. I hear them. They're so scary. <laughs> Why is there so many? Right. Can I hit those spawners from up here? I know there's one around there. There's so many of you. <laughs> Any more spawners? Oh, right there. Beautiful. Give me. Let me break you. Okay, there we go. And I'm assuming there'll be one back here. Yeah, there's one over there. Yeah, I think that's all the spawners. We'll try and clear up these guys and then see if any more spawn in from their demise. Okay, yeah, that is all the spawners. Whew, all right. Well, I guess my lack of coal is no longer an issue. Let me just go and grab all of this. I'm surprised that I haven't actually thought about that before. Oh, there's a skull. Give me that. Yeah. All right, give me all that XP, and I did- Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh, great, great. I got a music disc. It's all worth it. It's all worth it. All right, well, I guess we'll head over to the other side and see what, uh, see what's over here. Woo! I guarantee for dealing with these guys, I'll probably get, like, a fish or something. Like, it, it's not been- it's not been good. I'm being very cautious here. Being very, 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 very cautious here. Oh, there is a chest. There is a chest. Okay. Oh, oh, jump. Oh. <laughs> Bro, why are y'all so scary? Come here. No. Oh, God. Why are your hitboxes so weird? Ow! No! None of that. Ow! You, come on. Try it again. Try it now, buddy. Try it now, buddy. Hey, try it now. Get away. Okay. And the last chest nets me absolute trash oh my god okay i've come to the conclusion that indeed was it um and that was not worth it i got so excited for that place i thought oh it's gonna give me some like maybe some netherite like something cool i uh, no no it didn't i only got 10 coal from it too because i know it was too late oh <sighs> okay well back home i guess well after sorting through my massive loot from that place. I guess I'll throw a level 30 enchant on my helmet. Why not? Whoa! That was not great. Damn, it bankrupted me for arrows too. I only have 10 left. I mean, granted, I didn't really have many to begin with, but it was more than 10. Where's my shears? I'll go grab some vines to ease the pain of that absolute trash dungeon thing. I know there's going to be somebody in the comments, right, that's played because I guarantee that's a mod, right? So I know there's going to be somebody in the comments that tells me after I upload this that there's like an insane loot chest under the fifth block of the center building, uh, like to the left or something. And then I'll just missed it and then they'll get mad at me. Bruh, I don't know what that structure is, okay? I don't like it. it gave me poodoo. Okay, so I think what I kind of want to go and do is I want to go and stack up on some coal. So I'm going to take this pickaxe. I'm just going to go and grab some, some coal. Oh, I almost popped a gap off. I didn't mean to do that. I have found myself a new cave with an absolutely decked out skeleton. What is that? Oh my god, my guy has the same drip as me. What? Give me some of that, buddy. Give me some of that. I want to combine it with my armor. Come on. Man's got the enchanted bow and everything, and he dropped me nothing. Okay, coal gathering update. Uh, we have a decent amount. Um... Uh, quite a lot actually but i know that i'm gonna need to smelt down like a bunch of stone and stuff for the house and the wall so i'm gonna get a little bit more and by a little bit i mean like all these veins that i see in this cave and i think then i don't think i'll be able to carry any more after that so we should be good on the coal front from then 
Okay, something tells me I'm getting a slight sneaking suspicion that we won't need any more coal anytime soon. So what I'm going to do, because I am well and truly lost down here, I'm just going to mine my way back up because we shouldn't be too far under. And I'll probably be able to see the island from here. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, are we in the iron cave? No way. Oh, we were. Oh, that's great. So on day 36, I chopped down so many oak trees that I could probably have started my own lumber company. And it's all thanks to the bones that I got from the wither skellies over in the nether dungeon thingy, whatever that thing was. So I guess it wasn't entirely pointless. After grabbing more wood than I would actually ever need, I got to work on the house, starting with the basic frame of it and building it up from there by adding the walls and floor before finally moving on to the roof. Now, I do really like this house because it looks really nice, but it's actually surprisingly easy to build. So I'll have a tutorial for it linked down in the description if you want to build it. Oh, would you look at that? It brings a tear to my eye. We finally have a home. I mean, it's not finished by <laughs> any means just yet. I mean, the floor is a little bit uh, uh, goofy, let's say. But other than that, yeah, this is it. We have like an actual, I guess, outline of a house. Uh, ignore these stairs. I was using it to finish the roof off. I don't know. I think it kind of fits the island theme, even though I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a lake house or something. But yeah, so the next steps of the house build are going to be to obviously add some detail, put all of our items and such in there. And then I'm also going to wall this off like all the way around and have like a little garden area around back. I think it'll look pretty good. But before we do that, I'm thinking that I do really want to go and grab a zombie villager and turn him back to normal, just solely because I, I can have a friend then and I can do trades. I don't know exactly what I want to trade for. Maybe mending. Mending would be okay. But it just kind of eases the process of enchanting. However, to do any of that, we need to head into the nether and find either A, a nether fortress, or B, something with nether war in it. I don't recall that little place down in the bottom near the lava to have nether wart but it, it might have i don't know so let's just head in and have a look hello i returned hello is that oh no that's the vines okay all right well i'll just go and check the chests that i already looted and see if there's anything in them uh that is not nether wart that is rotten flesh no there is zero nether wart over here it is absolute poodoo this was like really bad loot i don't understand what it was supposed to be but well, i've cleared it out now so i can't really go back but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and look for, well, probably a fortress then over this way. Just solely because the terrain this way looks a little bit nicer than, well, that over there. Oh, look, see, I've got the zoom mod again. Yeah, look, I installed it. Finally. Like, what, day 41? <laughs> oh, God. I mean, on the way for looking for the fortress, I may as well mine you up. Could you give, oh, my God, it gives such good XP. Look at that. Oh, you're not another fortress. Hello. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Jesus, it always scares me. Oh, I actually, I forgot to make a new shield before coming in here. If you take a look at the old one, it's uh, it's not doing too well. It's got five durability left. Oh, my God. Hello? Any fortress of any kind in here? I don't know if bastions can have, like, nether wart, but if they can, I want one of those too, if possible. What the? Oh, it's an enderman. Hello, buddy. Ooh, more XP or Gimme, gimme. Yeah. But why is it so foggy in here, man? I can't see. Ooh, this looks promising. And is quickly not looking promising anymore. Oh my god, this stuff is like really like all over up in this... Um, what's this biome? The Nether Wastes? Wastelands or something? Nether Wastes? I think it's Nether Wastes. And still, there's a lot of that stuff in here. Look at it, it's all over. It's like quartz. Oh my god, this fog is actually, like, insane. I need to try and... Give me a sec. I'm going to try and turn it off because I literally cannot see... Like, look at that. I, I can barely make out that pigment down there. Oh my god, I had border fog on. I, I, I was messing around with my shader settings before I started this recording, and I had border fog on the entire time. Oh my god, look at the difference. That is so much better. Oh, that is a big vein of the XP stuff down there. Damn, I mean, should we even bother with the villager right now? Like, I'm trying to think, like... It, it's not really going to become a problem for me to enchant with this ore. Like, look at it. It's putting my level up so quick. Okay, then. Right, bro. So here's what I'm going to do, then. I'm going to go and mine up all of this stuff around this area, including the stuff all the way down at the bottom. And if I find a fortress, then we'll go with the villager. If I don't find a fortress, we might come back to get the villager later. Oh, is that... Is that a bastion? I think that's like an actual bastion, right? It looks like it, I think. 
Ooh, okay. I don't know if they can have blaze rods, but we'll go in there and check it out anyway. Hello? Are we friendly over here? This does not look very friendly. Ooh, is that a brute? Are you a brute? No, you're not wearing the the black garment. Oh, no, you are. No, you're not. Wait. Oh, you're a brute, though. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, my God. You're so scary, my guy. You're so scary. Go away. Oh, my God. Really? How many hits with this? They built like tanks. <laughs> Shut up. Where even are the chests in this one, man? I don't know what this one is. It's just a broken block. Oh, wait. I think I might know what this one is. Okay, and then we go over here, right? Yeah, okay, I think it's bridge, maybe? Question mark, perhaps? I don't know where the chests are in bridge, though. Oh, oh, that's a chest! Let me secure myself. Oh, that's not what I wanted. A lodestone, though, sure, I'll take it. I'm not going to need it, but I'll take it. Okay, I spent way too long looking around, though. We're just gonna we're just gonna grab some more XP. Uh, that was not worth it for like a couple pieces of iron, a lodestone, and what some arrows. Ooh, look at that gold texture in the uh, in the basalt. Look at that! Wow. Whoa! What that literally hit you? Right, that hit you. Wow! No! Stop shooting things at me! That literally hit you, man. What's happening? Hello? Go away. Oh no. A skeleton has just shot a pigment. And they're all going crazy. Well, I say that and there's two here, but... Oh, he took him out. Ho, 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 ho. Ow. No, don't shoot me. Yeah, mess him up, buddy. Yes. My guy. That was amazing. All right. Well, I guess we'll just head home then. I mean, we've got like a good chunk of XP. And I feel like as well, if we need more, we can always just come back and the level should go up quicker because we'll be lower level. What is that? Uh, oh, that's that bastion I was at over there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to try and remember my way back home. Um, I will see you lot once I've actually arrived, if I ever do. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. I have been going for a little while now, and <laughs> I'm completely lost. I thought this was the right way. I ended up finding a crimson biome. So I guess I'll remember the coordinates for this and try and go home. I have no clue where I am. Help. Okay, okay, we made it. We are back. Oh my god, I had no clue where I was, man. I've been running for like 15 minutes. Get me home. Okay, so now that we're back, I'm going to store away all of our nether goodies in here. And by goodies, I mean like nothing, because we got nothing. Although, that's a lie, actually. I, I managed to pick up a little bit of glowstone on my way out, so that's fine. I'm going to make another one of these. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, I'm gonna grab some lapis lazuli, and we're gonna pop some enchants on this bad boy. Come on, give me the big ones. Knock back two. I don't want knock. If you give me knock back fire aspect, smite. Okay. Um. Yeah. You know what? That's actually okay. Okay. Great. Now we're back down to level thirty. <laughs> Let me just real quick disenchant you from unbreaking three, and then we'll try and get like an efficiency enchant on this as well, so that can be like the useful beta pickaxe okay no I <laughs> that is beautiful oh my god would have liked unbreaking but i'm not gonna complain oh i don't want silk touch don't just give me silk oh that is beautiful actually silk touch is kind of pointless but i'll take it either way I need to chop down a bunch of trees, and I specifically need to chop down oak trees, which we don't have any wood of. So I think what I might do is I might just real quick run back into the nether, grab a bunch of uh, the bone blocks, and then grow a bunch of oak trees and chop them down. I think that's a good idea. Hello, I have returned. Give me your bone. I don't think I'm going to need too much of this stuff because like a little goes a long way. What is it? It's like nine bone per block, right? Yeah. Okay. In that case, then I'll just grab these last two over here and we shall head back and get to chopping down some trees. Okay. That should be more than enough bone for now. Oh my God. That was way more than I thought it was going to translate to. And now let the tree chopping extravaganza montage. No, that's not what I wanted to do. And now let the tree chopping extravaganza montage, whatever you want to call it, begin. I'm going to literally chop trees all day because I need a lot of oak wood. 
Oh my god, I completely forgot that you can just line them up and grow them like this, but I feel like with the tree chopping mod, this is going to be so good. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's going to be so much wood. Look at that. Oh my god. That is amazing. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> it's just a wall of tree. And they're all like the same height, oddly enough. That's weird. Look at that. All right. And uh, now we say goodbye to you. Wow. Damn, that's actually a really efficient way to get apples too. Oh my god. Okay, I'll do another little tree strip right here. And then I think that should be enough oak wood for now. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's plenty of oak wood. Okay, let me pick up these saplings. Uh, and we'll head inside because I'm sick of it raining. Okay, where do I even put you, man? I'll put you in here. There we go. Okay, so four stacks is... I mean, there's not as much I thought I'd end up with, but it's not bad, I guess. Oh, look at that view. It's beautiful. Look at that. The floating beehives, random birds, trees, a messy farm. Oh, you gotta love it. Right, was it you? It was you. Okay, yeah, so I'll finish this off, and then... I don't know, tomorrow I kind of want to get the house finished. Because there's so much more that I want to do. And the house is just, like, such a small part of it. Okay, so you lot are coming with me. We're moving some stuff up to the house because, like, there's some areas of it that are, like, technically, I guess, done. Like, the interior itself is done. I just need to add things to it. As for the exterior, though, that does need a bunch more stuff doing to it. But we'll get round to that, like, pretty much after I've done this. Right, so where do you fit, like, actually look good? Uh, I mean... Not really. I think the tables would look better there, to be fair. Let me... My botanist workbench. Yeah, see, they look so good there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll put the mason one down there. Oh, is it uneven? Oh, uh, actually, that could be... Okay, That yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll have like a little chest, like a little chest thing at the end here. Maybe like a little barrel or something to store our masonry woodworking botanist working <laughs> goods in. Okay, so do I want to do these on the ground floor, or do I want them upstairs? I'd say ground floor. I kind of want them, like, here, I guess, is the, the best place to put them. Uh, what do I do with the smoker? Maybe I can throw the smoker there? Uh, yeah, you know what? That works. That works. <laughs> How does the cutting board cost more than, like, a pressure plate? What? There we go. Ooh, that actually works really nice, actually. Yeah, I like that. And then maybe we could have... Uh, can I place lanterns from the roof here? Is that possible? No, they'll have to be placed behind it. Uh, yeah, that works. That works. I'll add some more later on then. Jeff? You Jeff? Go away. If you're not Jeff, you're not welcome in my house. Right. As for the storage, I don't know what to do with it. I really don't know whether or not I want to, like, put it upstairs maybe. Um, but then where, where is my bedroom? Or whether or not I want to, like, put it underneath the house. Or maybe make an area. Oh, actually, yeah. I could just make the mine area into a, a storage area as well. Like, I could just have a separate room coming off of it. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, is there anything else I need to move up to the house? I may as well move the bed up there. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we could do a little bit of storage up here, actually. Like, two chests there. And then two chests over this side. I think that'd look okay. Uh, can I craft chests with these god-awful things? Yes, I can. Okay. Like, two there two there yeah that that's that's not bad that's not bad yeah i like that okay good sir i don't really know where to put you uh i'm gonna move you out of the way from here for now because i'm gonna need to be working on this area somewhat soon so i guess you can kind of come chill in the house for now just temporarily right in the middle of the floor i would give you no better there we go. Look at that. Look at him. He's staring at me like that. Okay, so I'll harvest up some vines because we are getting like a really good supply of them now, but I feel like we're still going to need more. Um, and then I think I'll craft up some more of the like specific stone that I need for the wall and the house and such, and then get to crafting some of the detail blocks for the house today. And then we'll get to placing them down and probably finishing off the house tomorrow and the day after, depending on how long it takes. What is happening up here? Hello? Oh! Uh, hi! <laughs> Where did you come from, buddy? Hey? Where did you come from? Why are you there next to my little house area, huh? <clears throat> what happened to my trader and his llamas, man? Oh, wait, they probably despawned because I didn't, like, name them or anything like that, and they just disappeared. Damn it, man, I'm one of those llamas. Then, on the following few days, I got to work on adding the final details to the house. 
that mainly consisted of adding a whole bunch of different vine variants everywhere, as well as a bunch of leaf variants, just to add a little pop of colour. Then I added some details onto the roof, as well as a wall that I managed to miss somehow, along with adding some lanterns, and once all of that was done, I went and enchanted a shovel, and then proceeded to put it to good use by completely digging up all of the dirt on one of the tiny little islands that surrounded the main one, and after absolutely decimating the island of all of its dirt, I began placing it down around my house atop the once volcano. But finally, with all that out of the way, the house was done for the most part, and it was looking pretty good. Now it is looking a lot better, it's still not done, there's a couple things I need to do like up top, like in that region, um, and obviously the whole garden and wall around. But for now, this is looking much better. I've moved our little friend out here because I feel like he's, you know, he's one with nature. He's a wise old tree log and he wants to be outside. Okay, so I think what we should think about like right now is where can we put our storage? Should we keep it down there or should we like maybe move it? I, I don't know. I feel like keeping it down here and making an area for it, like I said earlier, would probably be the best bet. Yeah, I'll clear some of this out uh, just a little bit and then we can start working on where I want the storage area to be, I guess. I think I want it like kind of directly under the house to some degree. I've got to be careful of this water too, but that's going down towards the mine, so that's fine. Uh, I could do with opening this up one mo That's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to... Okay. Yeah, I could do with opening this up one or three more. Might be able to get away with three because we have a very fast pickaxe. Uh, the vine farm is going to get uh, overtaken, so RIP to that, I guess. Okay, how am I feeling about two? I definitely prefer four, let's say that. Okay, I'm sorry, vines. I'm sorry. It's, it's for the greater good, okay? You need to go away. You're an infestation now. I regret planting you. All right, well, I guess I'll dig up all this uh, mining stuff, and then uh, <laughs> that'll probably be the end of the day. I'm not going to lie, but... We'll see what we can get up to after we've done this. I'll probably end up placing the stairs. Oh, I forgot as well. We, we're going to need to make an area for the nether portal. I don't even know where to put it, man. I don't even have an idea this time around. Okay, there we go. It's not the uh, the best looking thing ever, nor is it the deepest. I remember that being way deeper. But we are good now. That is done. That is over with. I don't have to think about the mine for a little minute. Now, my kind of idea with this area is to have this come out a little bit and then go down and then it's kind of like a entrance like an old overgrown broken down entrance because i think that's the kind of theme that i'm going with for like pretty much everything in this video okay so there is still the problem to address of uh whatever's happening here but so long as we don't look at it okay we forget about it and if we forget about it and make it to the end of the video i don't have to do it i just don't know how to make that side look good man this side will look good when i do the stairs um it's literally just going to be like a miniature version of this design at the front but i think that is all the work that i'm willing to do today so i will head to bed and we shall see what we get up to in the morning wow that grass is actually spreading pretty quick maybe we'll start on the wall soon yeah yeah maybe i'll start on the wall Day 51 was a very uneventful day because all I did was I literally spent the day looking through different types of stone that I wanted to use on the wall and crafting a few of them up. Look, all right, there's too much variation of stone in this mod pack and I just wanted to make sure that everything looked good and apparently I wasted a day doing it. So there you go. Okay, it's wall time. Mr. Treeman, do you agree? He doesn't say much, but he agrees. Right, okay, so I don't want it any higher than, like, let's say uh, three-ish blocks. Uh, like, maybe two would be fine. Let me let me do a little test here. So we'll do two high. Oh, yeah, 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 that, that's, that's fine, because then with the ones that are only, let's say, this high, we can come back over here. Uh, I don't have any slabs, but we can put, like, a mossy stone slab on top of that, and it'll look beautiful okay so i'm gonna go around i'm gonna drop down these bricks in random order random succession and we'll see where we get to from there okay so i think that's a good little outline that gives us quite a lot of space as well to do stuff up here if we want to i mean i do want to i want to have like a little garden thing you know, maybe I'll build a shrine for uh, Mr. Mr. Wise Old Tree right here. But for now, I'm going to go around and just continue a random pattern with this kind of, you know, sporadically placing blocks with no order. And hopefully it comes out looking pretty good. 
Okay, here's what things are looking like right now. I do like it. It does need like some kind of, uh, can we, whoa, I didn't mean to throw those, uh, but what kind of lanterns do we have access to here? Okay. Ooh, what's that? Iron bowl lantern. Wait, what? Hello? I need a tinkering table. Oh, oh wait, we can actually finally put the gunpowder to use. Oh my God, it actually has a use. We can make TNT. Oh, let's go. Also, we get to put like one redstone to use. All right, so I'll place these buttons down and then I'll build the tinkering table and hopefully those lanterns do look quite good. Okay, the table is built. There's also a zombie dying somewhere. Stay away from my house. All right, well, I guess let's try put a lantern in there then, question mark. Uh, that's probably way too many lanterns, but you know what? We ball. We need a lot of them, so we ball. Boom. Okay. Oh, wow. That was only 18, actually. They're really expensive. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, so you can put the lanterns in there, and then you can craft any of the lanterns, right? Where's the fireball? Hello? Oh, oh, it's there. Right, okay. That looks beautiful. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll throw a few of these down all over the place then. Get this all lit up and looking Gucci. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yes. Okay, well, now that that- Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. I just panicked immediately. Man blended in with the vines, bro. You can't be doing that. Go away. Go. No, 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 please. Ah, there we go. Okay. Crisis averted. For now, though, I do genuinely think that we should start work on a little storage area down here. So where are my torches? There they are. Now I'm thinking, all right, the entrance to the mine is going to be like here. It might come in a little bit more, um, but I think it should be fine. So I want it to be the mine is to the left. The storage area is right in front of you. So if I kind of do it in like a tubular shape tubular is that the right word i don't know i want it to have like a caved roof or concave roof I, bro i cannot speak today <laughs> i don't need it massive because i don't really have that much stuff but i need it you know bigger and better looking than whatever the hell this is i think we'll block it off here and we'll start it as in from here so i kind of want to do some pillars in between i don't know if it's in between every double chest. I don't know if that'll look good. So maybe every two double chests. Yes. Okay. I like this. I like this. This is good. Um, hello. Ah, uh, you're not invited to this gathering. Goodbye. I really don't think I'm ever going to need this many chests, but like I said, we ball, we ball, we can make the chests. Why should we not make them? I'm not going to keep this as cobblestone. Just so you know, I, it's just placeholder so I can get an idea of how big I want this and the kind of design I want to go with. It's going to kind of turn out something similar to what I did for the villages uh, in 1x1 border. Ooh, we're also probably going to have to go down. Wait, no. <gasps> no, I'm decimating my fortune three pick. Do I have any diamonds? No, I don't have any diamonds. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Well, that will be our next thing Then I need to go and grab some more because if this thing breaks, I'm going to cry. Okay. I guess we'll get what we can done for today. I'm just going to switch over to the silk touch one briefly. Uh, and then I guess we'll go and hunt for some more diamonds because I am running at pretty low on durability. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. Damn. Okay. And we can kind of have, like, from these, we can have, like, pillars going across the roof, like little beams. And I think that'll look really good. Like little beams connecting them all together. And then in the middle of those, we can kind of do, like, a square design spiraling up or something. Pretty much whatever makes sense and looks good is what I'm going to do. But yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. All right. Well, I guess tomorrow we shall head down into the caves once more and uh, absolutely decimate everything we find until we find some diamonds because I am broke. Alrighty, so apparently my mic decided to break on day 54 and well, I didn't notice it until much later on So I guess future poppers has to step in here and tell you what I did So I decided to head back down to the caves in search of more diamonds because my pickaxes really weren't gonna last much longer So I wanted to get some stuff to repair them with now I ended up getting super super lost while I was down here because I headed in some unexplored areas and did manage to find a decent amount of diamonds as well as a zombie that got way too excited to see me and ended up literally cooking himself. However, I'm pretty sure his friends got word of this and ended up blaming me for it because I had to fight off a literal army of everything that was just insane. I mean, just look at this, man. It's crazy. 
After cleaning up that mess, I managed to find some more diamonds before heading my way back up home. Then, over the next couple of days, I got to work on the storage area, replacing cobblestone with some fancy stone and adding some lighting, as well as just generally tidying it up, before then adding a whole bunch of item frames and finishing off the floor and roof. That did actually end up taking a little longer than I expected, but it's solely because I really couldn't find a design that I liked, but I eventually got there in the end. And now, finally, day 58 was the official storage day that literally involved me going back and forth, back and forth, between my messy, terrible storage to my beautiful new storage and making it all organized. And I think that's it. You're all caught up now, so let's get back to past poppers now that he's actually fixed his mic. Well, I really wish that I'd have noticed the mic issue sooner. Uh, I don't actually know what happened. I think the power supply for my mic kind of just blew up. But either way, we're back. I got a new one. We are all good again. And this is looking, well, pretty decent. I wouldn't say beautiful, right? I wouldn't say that nice. But it works pretty well. I do really like this stone. Uh, I think it looks really nice. I forget what it is. I think it's like the disordered stone bricks or whatever. I, I don't know. But yeah, this is this is storage room. Storage day was a good one. And we actually did manage to fill up quite a few of these. There's only a, a handful that aren't really doing anything. Granted, yes, we do have a specific chest for copper and I have no copper, but the chest there, if I ever you know, change my opinion on it. But I think what the next project is going to be, because we really need to get to work on it, is the wall, all right? We need a wall going all the way around here, all the way. I, I don't know if I'm going to do it all the way to the back. I might just pull it up and connect it to there. And then we'll do another one around where that jungle tree is. Pull that all the way back and then kind of connect it to that one up there. And then we'll leave a little exit thing right here where the boat is actually perfectly placed and we'll make like a little either a little dock or like a little beach house area where we can put the boat and stuff now as for the wall i'm not 100 percent sure how i want to do this i do know that i want to push this back quite a bit and we need to move the enchantment table so i guess i'll just do that real quick we've got silk touch on this right yes and get rid of you and then i'm gonna get rid of some of this dirt and stone too we want to push this back quite a bit because i want this area down here to be lower than up here because i think it'll look pretty good with what i have in mind especially with the farm i think it'll help separate the areas a, a bit i don't know but either way we're doing it so i'm just gonna get rid of uh, essentially all this stone i'll do it with the non-silk touch pickaxe because we still need a ton of uh cobblestone for the wall there is something i was meaning to do today and i completely forgot what it was so <laughs> hopefully that comes back to me soon uh we also need to do the mine as well i've not i've not worked on the entrance of the mine at all so we need to do that oh my god there's so much to do so little time i think we can get rid of the composter now like i, I don't really have a use for it I, I can just go in the nether and get bones so it's like kind of irrelevant now i'm sorry buddy you, you have to go okay so we'll take this dirt that we just dug up and we're gonna go and place it down here I am still pretty unsure of how I want this end kind of island to look, but I'm, I'm getting an idea, all right? I'm getting a vision. Let me cook. Let me cook. It'll come out good, hopefully. I pray. I wish I had access to more flowers, but there's, like, nothing around here. I can get, like, the default ones, but I can't get the, like, the big rose bushes and peony bushes, is it? And the, I think, lilac, maybe? I, I don't know, but I can't get the big plants, which is kind of sad. But I guess I do have the azaleas, so that makes up a little bit for it, I guess. This is not going to be enough dirt. No, it's not. Uh, I guess I'm going to go dig up these islands over here then as well. I've never set foot on these, and uh, the only time I'm going to set foot on them is to absolutely destroy them. So uh, goodbye, little islands off in the distance that I have never once even cared to come over to. And boom, 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 boom. There we go. Beautiful. Another beautiful day out in the middle of nowhere on a very awful looking island at this point. Where's Jeff? Where's Jeff? He'll brighten my day. Jeff? Jeff, buddy. Oh, you've got a friend. Oh, oh, wait, Jeff. Jeff, 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 Jeff. My guy, I can help you out. Where's a flower? There we go. Jeffrey. Je Jeff? You're not Jeff. Go away. He left me. He went inside. He didn't want to talk to me today okay so what i'm wanting to do with this area i have no clue but we're gonna just kind of try and wing it and see how it comes out i guess i'm gonna have to dig out a little bit of an area first and then hopefully we can get this looking okay i i, I don't really know what i'm gonna do okay and then i think from there we'll have 
Just place these here as temporary. We'll do that there. Maybe some stone here. And then if I bring it up enough, I think that's enough, right? And I can put some stone there. Would that look good? Oh, I don't know. Does that work? Oh, if we pull it forward one. Yeah, hey, how about this, right? Pull it forward one. This is going to look awful when it's just cobblestone, but trust, trust me. You know, believe in the process. Boom, boom. And then we'll have these as kind of like pillars coming down, I guess. So what do I want to use as a pillar material for you, good sir? Let me take you up to my mason table and we'll get working on you. I actually should bring that table back down here, man. I only ever use it when I'm like down here and working on the wall as well. I think it's a good idea. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go grab it. <laughs> I'm sick of climbing up here. I don't even have stairs yet. I want something that's kind of like straight up, you know? No... Oh, whoa, right, right there. Okay, no, that's beautiful. That that works exactly like I was going to say I needed. Okay. Uh, does it actually look that good, though? I mean, it don't look bad, but maybe... Oh, can we do a mossy variant of that, actually? Uh, let me go try. Where's my moss? Uh, oh, yes, we can. Beautiful. Okay. Goodbye, stinky, normal-looking pillar. Hello, decrepit, moldy pillar. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. So, from this, we want some stairs, and then we want some slabs as well. Boom, 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 boom. That'll do. Okay. So, you are mossy, you are mossy now. Welcome to the mossy club. What kind of fancy mossy blog do I have? Oh, the cracked tiles. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Wait, what? I hear a pigman. Buddy? Uh, have you come through the portal, my friend? <gasps> Hello, buddy. How you doing? Welcome. Uh, you can just... Yeah, I, okay, all right. You go into my cobblestone gathering area then. Okay. Well, it's nice that we have another friend. I've got a name tag, so I might name him. I really don't know about that, like the, the stairs here, but maybe it'll grow on me. I'm not too sure. Hey, what, what, what do you think, my guy? Hey, come, come, come take a look. What do you think? You think this is good? Come take a look. Uh, can I put him on a lead? Do I have the stuff to make a lead? Do I have the slime? I do. Where you gone, buddy? Where's he gone? Hello? Did he leave me? Oh, did he go down the mine? What? Oh my god, he's gone. Oh, wait, no, I hear him. Is he Is he up at my house? <laughs> I think he is. Buddy, what are you doing in my house? Come with me. Come, No, come with me. Hey, come with... No, I can't put a lead on him, man. Damn it. All right, well, let me put him in a boat then so he doesn't despawn. Oh, I don't have any wood. This is the worst day. Oh, there we go. Okay, that'll do. Stay, my friend. You'll be immortalized forever in this world. There we go. Look at him. He's having the time of his life. Uh, just don't let anything happen to you while I'm gone. Okay, right. Poppers, stop getting distracted. We've got a mine to build. Right, how do I want to do this floor? Maybe just throw like a bunch of this down randomly and then add like a couple of them around there. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That'll That'll do. That'll suffice. Okay, how's that looking? Better. It's looking better. So I need to go and grab some... Mossy stone bricks. Do I have any? Oh, I have three. Oh, and I have the stairs too. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is coming together. Oh, what if we put like a wall on top of this? Either side and we could put like a lantern on there? Yes. Get rid of this and replace it with the fancy variant of mossy stone. Oh, no, not there. Ooh, look at that. That's going to look good when we add some lanterns. And then we'll go around here with this and bring it boom, 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 boom. All right. I think I'm happy with this now. Overall, there's a couple little things that I would like to do to it. But other than that, it is looking pretty nice. Okay. And then you go boom, boom. We put some lanterns up here and then we put some down here on these as well. And then we'll have some. Can I have them hanging? Oh, look at that. Mmm. That is beautiful. Uh, this beehive is kind of annoying me, though. Need to get rid of it, but I know they're going to get mad if I don't put a fire under it. Oh, hello, mine. <laughs> Just breaking through into my house. No, not my house. My house is up there. It's not my house anymore. I don't live in a hole. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty nice, actually. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's turning out pretty well, actually. Uh, I do want to replace this with this. There we go. It looks a little bit nicer. Yeah, this is good. This is beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Finally, I feel like I'm making some progress. Grass spreading is going pretty well. Jeff, are you out yet, buddy? Oh, you are. Oh, I don't have the flowers on me, man. Damn it. No, wait, no. Flower. Flower. 
Jeff, what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Every time. Every time. That guy is elusive. God, why is natural building so hard? Okay, yeah, this is now perfect. I've just been kind of tweaking it a little bit, but that looks a lot better now, especially from this side as well. But yeah, this is this is good. This is good. All I need to do now is just kind of level it out a bit and have a nice steady path all the way up top. But this will definitely do for a start. Beautiful. Well, would you look at that? What a surprise. It's absolutely throwing down rain again. Beautiful. Um, last night, I did do work on this staircase. I'm not too sure how I'm feeling about it. There might be a bit too much mossy cobble in it for my liking. But, I mean, I can get up and down easier now, so that's fine. And it all flows pretty nicely. I might add some buttons on there real quick. Let me just go make some stone buttons. Uh, screw it, we'll make 64, you know? We've got a bunch of stone. It's fine. We can... We can uh, go hard with the stone buttons, I guess, and just kind of throw them down randomly on things, you know, just make it look a little bit more detailed, you know, a bit more depth up in this. Uh, I mean, for whatever little difference it made, it, sure, I guess, like, it, it, I'm not against it. <laughs> but anyways, what I need to do today is I need to get a whole bunch of vines. I'm also going to move this beehive right now because I'm going to forget to do it if I leave it any longer. Uh, but yeah, we need a whole bunch of vines for the wall because that needs starting on ASAP so that I can get it out of the way and we can start building some other things as well. Okay, bees, uh, I'm going to get rid of this and then are you going to be mad if I do this? Are you mad? Are you mad? You look, oh, 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 <laughs> okay, yeah, you are mad. Um, you don't seem to be, you don't seem to be moving. Um in this predicament i think i'm pretty safe actually i'm not gonna okay yeah there we go well the beehive's gone now oh wait could i have got it with silk touch <gasps> oh i'm so sorry I'll, I'll put you a new house down i'll put you a new house down it's all good uh where's my beehives there they are all right i'm kind of scared that if i break this he's gonna move oh i did oh huh. oh wait are you chill now oh you're chill now oh okay whoo dodge that bullet um i'll just throw you guys like here for now then i guess oh no actually you know what i'll throw you upstairs because that's where you're gonna go anyway um, i'm building the bee area up here because downstairs is gonna be the farm hello wise old tree how you doing all right it's time to grab an ungodly amount of vines once again i'm probably gonna spend the whole day here doing this so yeah unless you want to watch me just sit here wait for the vines to grow and mine them i will see you at the end of the day once we have got um hopefully a lot of vines well, I'll tell you what, it's a good thing that we have moss because the vines were just not doing it. Um, I was waiting like five minutes and I had like three grow. So this is the vines and then I went down and grew a little bit of moss. So I think this should be like at least okay for now because we have the stuff in the chest upstairs and that'll give us a little bit of buffer room to do with actually building up this wall because it's not all going to be moss, but like the vast majority of it probably is. Now, I do want to go and check real quick how much cobblestone we have because I'm going to need quite a bit and I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, okay, all right. I'll spend tonight grabbing some cobblestone then. This pickaxe is uh, not having fun right now. I'll tell you that. I'll grab a whole bunch of this stuff and then hopefully we shouldn't have any more problems when it comes to the wall, except maybe lanterns but like i can make a bunch of those bro i've got a load of iron and so on the following days i got to work on building up the wall now i do understand that this wall really doesn't have a purpose because it's not really keeping anything out and i don't have anything that needs to be kept in so it's solely being built for looks Anyways, it was a pretty straightforward build that mainly involved me sporadically placing down random assortments of blocks until I thought that it looked good and natural enough. And once it did, I just went around adding some of the fireball lanterns on top and boom, there we go. Wall is done. Hey, 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 the wall is now done. And to be fair, I actually really like it. And honestly, it came out a lot better than I was expecting. So we've connected it up to the top there. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of messing around with this area later on because it's still a bit, uh, yeah, not too great. And then we've got it all the way around with a little entrance slash exit area there that I might build like a little boat dock or a little beach house or something. And then it connects all the way up to this side. However, I'm thinking that I might have to push this back a little bit over here 
because I wasn't planning, all right? I wasn't planning on making a nether portal area, but I kind of want to make a nether portal area now. I kind of want to put it like down a little bit and in kind of just behind the wall a little bit and then have it overgrown and stuff. I think that'd look quite good. We can also get some of the, if I get them up, the soul, what are they? Uh, the soul lanterns because there's like a whole bunch of variety of them they've even got the iron bowl ones which would match like the other ones that we have around the area so as for the nether portal let me go and grab some stone and oh it's raining okay beautiful exactly what i wanted but i'm gonna take this stone and i'm gonna kind of just bring this up a couple all along because it's like i'm gonna have to dig underneath it and i don't think it's gonna be high enough so i'll just bring this up a bit um, we'll add some of the mossy blocks back later, I guess, but for now, this will suffice. Oh, yeah, 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 that should be more than enough. So what the plan is then is to dig out this area a little bit. I don't know exactly where to, but we'll go to here for now, and we'll just kind of bring it back, and then we want to bring it down like a block or two so that we can fit a, a bigger than normal nether portal in there. Oh, but for, oh, wait, no, I was going to say but before that we need like a bunch of obsidian, but like... <laughs> I've got like two stacks of the stuff from the volcano. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This'll this'll work pretty well. So yeah, this is gonna be the middle of the portal, and we'll bring it like kind of up and around in here. And then as for the front of it, we'll kind of make it look overgrown and stuff. So we'll kind of keep the wall there, um, and it'll kind of connect to it. How many times am I gonna say kind of in this the same sentence? But I'll just go, I'll grab a little bit of obsidian and slap that down there, just so that I don't forget where the middle is. So, do I have... I do. Okay, right. So, we want to make a couple more campfires um, and a couple more beehives. I don't actually think I have the honey, though. Maybe I put it over here? No. Okay, I don't think I have the... Oh, no, I do. I have enough for another beehive. Okay. All right, so you go bing, bang, bop. Boom. And then I guess, yeah, we'll put this... Oh, who's in there? What? Oh, you made a friend. Damn, okay. Well, you're getting along quite nicely in this world aren't you good sir all right no that's that's fine you you keep vibing there buddy i'm i'm, I'm fine with that i'm making friends up here i'd have been sad if that was jeff in the boat though I, I don't want jeff being in a boat you know uh boom bang there we go all right bees um you need to move we need to relocate you to a, a better place you're gonna get mad at me for breaking this but i don't care Actually, I should probably, like, get a place to secure myself before I break those. Because they're going to be real. They're going to be real mad. All right. So, you go bye-bye. Oh, oh. They're just... Oh, you you chill? There we go. All right. Beehives are gone. Beautiful. Now, you just stay there. Don't, don't get too angry. I'll be back out later. Oh, that went pretty well, all things considered. Okay, tis a new day, and the bees are not angry at me. Where is Jeff? Jeff? Is that yeah, Jeff, buddy, get out! Okay, right. Um, this isn't your home anymore. Uh, well, I mean, it still is, but it's it's just up there. So just no. Wait. Oh, I thought that was Jeff flying away. I don't care if that one flies away. It's because right, they have a habit of like on maps like this. Like the raft map was a prime example of it. They'll just fly out in one direction over the ocean and then just get stuck at the end of the rendered chunks i don't know why they do it but they do i guess they're looking for a flower or something but they, they ain't never gonna find that okay let's make this area look a little bit better i brought some moss up and i've got some flowers uh i have two flowers but i do have some bone meal too so that'll help us out here Ooh, that looks good i'm really hoping that i get some of the other flowers but i don't think that we're gonna i feel like i'd have had like some of the blue ones by now if so uh, we'll throw some moss down here. Hopefully it takes over that block. Oh, wrong thing. No, it did not take over that block. Yeah, this is nice. This is coming together pretty good. I just kind of wanted like a little back garden. Nothing like too detailed. Just kind of some place for my bees to chill, you know? And obviously wise old uh, oak tree right here with his, uh, with his little hat on. Look at him. He's just chilling. <laughs> Look at my guy. Oh, he's never been happier. Or sadder. Yeah, I can't really tell. He doesn't talk much. All right. So the bees are now secured up here. I'm going to add these last two beehives because I might want more bees. Okay. Just a nice little quaint garden area. We've got our guy here. He's going to watch over the bees, although he seems to be really focused on... What are you looking at, buddy? What are you looking at? Are you 
staring like this way. Is it that lantern? I know it's a it's a, it's a good lantern, isn't it? It's a oh god, what is it? Is it a tavern or is it a cross lantern? It's a cross lantern, buddy. You like that? I'll put it back down for you. Yeah, he likes that. All right, yeah, you just you just look at that lantern, buddy. Okay, right. What do I want to do right now? I think maybe we I think maybe we go on to the enchantment area. You know, I think we should get that kind of out of the way. Um, I'm also gonna take these potatoes upstairs and cook them because I'm getting a little bit low on food. All right, so we want it to go one, two, three, four. Oh, the <clears throat> ignore that. That's where the creeper blew up earlier. <laughs> And then we're kind of going to connect it in like a little bit of a circular shape, I guess. So kind of like this. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, that's... I think that's more than big enough, to be fair. Um, and then we put the pillars there. We can have the bookshelf and then we can get around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. These are the ramblings of a madman, I'm telling you. Okay, yeah. So I kind of want like these pillars that we use here to go around this in some order, I guess. I, I really don't know how I want to do this, but... We're doing it, and hopefully it comes out good. Yeah, okay. This is going to work out quite nice, actually. And then we'll kind of run this around. It's just going to follow, like, the exact same design as the wall, just on a little bit of a smaller scale. Okay, blocks acquired. I think I still have... Yeah, I do. I have some of the iron bowl lanterns on me. So let's just kind of throw things down here and uh, I guess hope that it comes out looking okay. So we want to kind of do that right there uh maybe a little bit too much moss there maybe add uh, one of these yeah 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 yeah. uh i i ain't liking this so far it's i, I guess i gotta trust the process all right i did it with the wall i can do it with this it it'll be fine it'll be fine how's that uh yeah i mean that that, that could be worse that could be a lot worse uh maybe if i throw like a stair here as well that'd look a little bit better uh yeah, that, <laughs> I guess that'll do for now. I might change that later on if I don't like it, but sometimes it takes a minute for things to grow on me, so we'll, we'll keep it as it is for now. I'll add some lanterns around the place, and we'll get this thing lit up. Yeah, it's. I guess it's kind of this area that I'm not really too sure of. I like this. I'm not actually super sure about that. I might bring this one just up one more and then do that there. I think that looks a little bit better, but we want to go around and add some vines to it. Um, and I think that should be okay. I'll go grab my bookshelves and place them down as well. Okay, and then for this, oh, I still need to do the floor. But uh, for this, I'm thinking that I kind of do like a little kind of broken downy kind of type thing, you know, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't know, something kind of like this, you know, and then put that there. Uh, I might push this one back one, actually, because it's kind of in the way. Okay, that'll do. That will do for now. That looks pretty good, too. Uh, it is thundering, which is, well, annoying. So I'm going to store this stuff away, and then hopefully it'll let me sleep, because I absolutely hate dealing with thunder. And then I guess it's time to move on to the nether portal, then. Now, I began work on building up the new nether portal over the next few days, and, well, I wouldn't say this was a hard build by any means, but it was kind of annoying to try and kind of get everything to line up correctly and connect together properly and not look super goofy. But once I got the base outline of things done, things started to move along a lot smoother. And I even had enough time after finishing the portal to also go around and add some walls and lanterns around the place so that I can start on a little path connecting everything together. Alrighty, be uh, Oh, hello. Um... Okay, well, you're literally tying into what I was about to say, but the poll is done, and it is looking beautiful. I mean, just look at this. I uh, I really like these kind of, uh, oh, oops, uh, these ring kind of soul lanterns. They look really cool, um, and they actually light up, like, the area around them, unlike, uh, like, the standard ones. But yeah, I like this. I might make a few changes later on, but as for now, this is actually pretty good. So I can just go down to the mine and uh, get rid of that other portal to hopefully avoid coming through one and going through the other. So uh, you can go bye-bye, uh, good sir. Okay, right, so let me just test out this portal real quick before we go anywhere else. I want to see if it actually... It should link up to the other one, right? It's not that far away. Yes, it does. Beautiful, all right. Yeah, okay, perfect, all right. Ooh, okay, right, so instead of wasting time getting villagers and stuff, which are no use to me, that dolphin seemed very happy, um... We'll go and get, because I don't think we have a lot of it. I'll go and get some sand, and we can work on making out, like, a like a little beach area. How much sand do I have? That's glass. I have 25 sand. That will not be enough. But yeah, we can do the little beach area, and then kind of, I don't know. I mean, maybe 
and build a dock or something on it, like a little beach house, like I said. I suck at kind of getting like natural corners on things though, so this might be oh this might be some trial and error but let me go grab some sand real quick i feel like this island to the left is the better bet if there even is any over here i mean there's a little bit of sand over here it's not gonna do much but okay you know what i take it back there was actually quite a lot of sand over here now i don't need it like massive but i do need some like kind of size to it just solely because i want to build things on it i don't know man i've never built like a beach before but what do I even want to build on here? Like, how am I even supposed to? Oh, wait. Oh, it's coming. It's coming into my head. All right. I'm, I'm getting the idea. So we'll have kind of, we'll expand this out just a little bit over this way. We'll have the kind of dock coming over this way. And we can kind of set up like a little campfire on here and, and whatnot. Maybe a few barrels dotted around and have like a little fishing dock maybe. So what I do want to do real quick then is I want to go grab some more vines. <laughs> I know, right? Surprise, surprise. I need more moss. Uh, but I want to make a bunch more mossy cobblestone walls because they're just going to be laying around the island everywhere just solely so I can replace the torches with like lanterns or fire lanterns. Okay, so moss is acquired. Stone is also acquired. But I've just kind of had an idea of what I can do with the beach area or at least start to do with the beach area so if i have some jungle logs do i have some jungle leaves that is the question i do not okay right well it's time to grow some jungle trees then but i'm gonna try and all right i'm gonna try my hand at making some palm trees now my experience building trees in this game never and i mean never goes well so if this comes out looking absolutely awful then just I already told you prior, okay? I, I told you beforehand it will look bad. Why are you not grow Hello? Is it because you're too close? Like, what's this about? Okay, I guess I'll put you down here. I'm gonna head into the nether and get some more bones at this rate. Do I have any in my chest? Any bone? Oh, I do. I have 16. Beautiful. Okay, please grow. Uh, please grow? <laughs> Bruh, please. <laughs> I need jungle leaves. Why are you not growing? What if I put you, like, up here, right? What about that? What about that? That's, like, a perfect place. If I was a jungle tree, I'd love to grow right here. <laughs> what? Bro, is my bone meal defective or something? What is wrong? Do I have any more bone meal anywhere? Like, at all? No. No. Don't know why it'd be in there. No. Okay, right. Okay, well, I guess I'll uh, do a quick run back into the nether to grab some bone blocks and try again, I guess. All right, the last time I was in your awful dimension, you scammed me on bone blocks. They were defective. Not good bone meal. Very bad. So uh, don't be trying none of them shenanigans this time. I'm talking to you. Yeah. I'm going to take your bone. Huh? How about that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you are probably... I'm going to say that it is something like around this area. Uh, one of you guys will probably let me know in the comments that like I'm being an idiot and there's like a wall that's one block too close to them or something. I don't know, man. I don't know, all right? I I just don't know. So we're going to try and do it over on this island here because there is absolutely nothing around that will impede the growth of jungle tree. I'll even get rid of that grass block there just for if. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. First try. All right. Amazing. Okay, right. This is got a high potential of going absolutely terribly, but we'll see. So we want to do... How tall is that? Is that three or four? That's three. Okay. So then we'll come out one and we'll go up two more and then go out one more and go one more. Okay. We want to add a little bit of slant to this tree, you know? Okay. So far, it's not looking terrible, but I've only just placed the logs. So oh, actually, I shouldn't be building up here with logs because I'll get confused. Okay. Right. Now it's the leaves that are going to start to um, make things look a bit goofy. here. Okay. Listen. All right. This is what the image looked like to some degree okay um it's not terrible in a matter of fact i think that's kind of <laughs> okay if i dare say that i mean it'll do for now if it looks bad then oh ooh, i don't even want to see that thing in the day but that'll do for now i guess oh actually you know what from a distance right from a distance that don't look too bad you know that looks pretty good don't really zoom in and stare at it for too long, but that, you can see that's a palm tree, right? Surely. Okay, I'm going to throw all this stuff in my inventory in a chest. That does actually, like, look okay. I'm fine with that for now. Um, 
but I want to try my hand at making a dock, but I need to see what wood materials go together. So we're going to need, I don't know if I have any left. I have seven left, but we're going to need a lot more than seven. Uh, I need to make some campfires. 15? Uh, I mean, I still don't think 15 is going to be enough like, but we'll deal with what we have for now. I add like a little stairway to get up to it, I guess. Uh, and then we'll have that go there instead. Boom. And then boom. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, how do the campfires look with this? That's too low. That needs to be... Ow! Ow! Uh, stop! It needs to be one higher. So if I just put slabs all along the side, maybe? Ow! Ow! Ooh, you see, but that looks good. But that's way too high for a dock. So maybe we bring it down one? I don't want it any higher than one off of the water. So maybe there? But that is... I mean, that might be fine, actually. This is exactly what I was just doing. But if I put that, like, there, maybe? But that's going to place it, yeah, too low. Ooh, unless I only put it in the places where the slabs are, like this, right? And then that would fit quite nicely, no? Yeah, it would. Okay. Ah. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Ooh, what if we lift it up one? Would that still work? Because he builds it, like, on the floor floor level but if i lifted it up just one and kind of had those campfires here would that work Ooh, that does work okay you know what that's not too bad that that works pretty well actually oh and now it's raining amazing and we can kind of place these around the side that what hello i can't tell if that's a good feature or a bad feature you know but either way we'll place these around the sides I think I want to make it come out one or two ways. Like, I kind of want to make it go over this way or over this way or maybe just both because why not? Okay, yeah, I like this. I like this. It's, it's pretty good, actually. Um, I do need to get some light. Oh, no. I do need to get some light on here somehow, but I'm pretty sure I have an idea how to do that. I might just every other one of these run like a kind of an archway of... Uh, fences above it and then put like a lantern or two on it. I think that'd look good. Okay, so it seems like I'm gonna have to do it both ways because I can't think of a way to make that three blocks wide without making this three blocks wide. Although I could just make this bit a little wider actually. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll see how this goes and then we'll uh, fix it from there. Okay, so I am very happy with how this is coming out. But I am completely out of bone meal, so I will have to finish it a different day. However, I am really happy with how this is coming out. So all I really need to do is add the rest of the campfires, uh, add some fences and some lighting, and then probably do this again uh, over at the end of this one and over at the end of this one. Okay, I have come to the conclusion that I need more wood. However, to get more wood, I think I need to go and grab some more bones from the nether because I don't think I have any bone meal left or any bone blocks at all. Just have a quick look, see if there's anything in my nether chest. No, I know there's no bone meal in there. Is there anything in here? Uh, oh, there's 32. I don't know if this will be enough, but I'll try to get as much from it as I can possibly get. Okay, yeah, so that's, I don't think that's going to be enough because what I'm wanting to do is I need a bunch of trapdoors um, to also go along the side here. Uh, I may as well actually test this out to see if it even works, but I kind of want to place some trapdoors. Please work. Oh, no, they go up, but does that, I mean, that kind of works, right? Uh, I mean, I guess, but I was kind of going to do it like that, but they don't sit, yeah, they don't really sit too well there. However, that actually, no. That's not bad, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so I need a bunch more wood then. So it's golden booty time and nether hunting time for uh, bones. I have returned again for some bone. Uh, let me check up here, actually, see if there's anything around this area because I've, I've been around the other way quite a bit. Here, a skeleton. Yep, you're right there. Bye, buddy. Oh, bruv, I cleaned this biome out. What's that up there? Oh, it's a strider. Ow, stop. Right, you go away. You stop, right? I'll uh, come and kill you too because, you know, free bone. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. 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 Go away. No, leave me alone. This is harassment. Stop. Oh, bro, come on now. My guy's got strafes. No, stop. There he goes. Okay. All right. That was a, a hard fought battle, but we came out on top. Ah, beautiful. What once was 
well, I would say some living creature is now just my tree accelerant. Ooh, this is a big one. Okay, I'll go and grab this last one, and then we'll head back, and hopefully this should be... Oh, yeah, this should be way more than what we need. All right, we are back. So, I've lined up a bunch of oak saplings, and we are going to end up with way more oak wood than a man would ever need in his entire life. No, there's a beehive there, man. No. Oh, oh, oh my god, I can get it with silk touch. I can get it with silk touch. But there's another one. Oh, wait, I can... Oh... I like that. Okay, well, we have two more beehives now. We can actually take them up top and have them a little bit more natural looking. Oh, there's another one. Oh, no, don't. Bro, they don't get mad if I break it with Silk Touch. What is this? I've never known this. Okay, I'll put these beehives in here for now because I have no room in my inventory for the wood. And then I guess tomorrow we'll finish off the dock. <laughs> Eventually. I'm probably just going to spend the night out here growing trees. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, I'm not going to lie, but I think it's pretty safe to say I won't need uh, any more oak logs for the foreseeable future or any more oak wood in general. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break you down and then we're going to make just a whole bunch of trapdoors, probably more than I'm going to actually need. So um, how am I, how am I going to want to do this? Do I maybe want to lay some slabs underneath these? Because it'll just be easier for me to place the trapdoors on those, won't it? Oh god, no, it's messing with the other ones. No, stop. Okay, this is coming together. I don't know why that one's gone up again. I don't know what its its problem is, but there we go. All right, yeah. So just kind of ignore this corner. Um, It doesn't exist. Yeah, all right. Look at this. Woo. I'm liking it. Okay, yeah. No, this, this works really well, actually. So I do need to go and add some lights everywhere. I'm not really too sure how I want to do that, but uh, I guess I'll figure that out now. So I just need to look at some fences real quick. Right, because I'm thinking I might go with the oak stockade fence. Let's have a look at this. How do you look? Ooh, I like that. That's actually... Ooh, that's really nice. Uh, I mean, it's something. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. I also have to walk directly through the middle of them, so that's a no-go. Okay, right. This is evidently becoming way more difficult than it should be. I'm just making it so hard for myself because I'm so picky about how I want this to look. Um, I, I guess I'll be with you when I figure something out because this is going to take me a minute. Okay, so over the next few days, I decided that I was kind of tired of how the entrance to the mine slash storage area was looking. So I spent a good amount of time tearing up everything and trying to make it look a little bit better. And I mean, I don't think it was the biggest improvement I've ever made, but it definitely came out looking better than it did. But that's not really saying much because it was just stone prior. Now, also, during the process of the renovation, I did completely redo the mine by just moving it forward a couple of blocks. Um, and I was also visited by a wandering trader during these days, and he had a couple of flowers that I wanted, so I grabbed them as well. And after all of that, I began work on a little beach house slash beach extension thingy, because I really felt like the beach was looking pretty barren down there with only a dock and a singular palm tree. And I'm not going to lie to you, I love how this came out. I think the beach looks so much better now, so much more vibrant. I love it. All right, what an eventful few days. We got a lot of stuff done. Look at this little beach house thing, man. I don't really know what I want to use it for or what I would even use it for, like, but hey, we have it, man. It, it kind of fits the theme. I don't really know how I feel about these birch buttons, but I didn't really have any... You know, I wanted to put pebbles around the place, but obviously there's only stone i don't have sandstone pebbles so but yeah everything's come together quite nicely i don't know about this area all right it, it's okay it's not amazing but it looks better than it did just coming in and then it was just stone so this looks a lot better the mine uh, it was literally just a I, I just wanted to do it i guess but i think first things first let me grab myself this name tag in here. And we're going to go and name our pigman friend because he's been just sitting in this boat. He's been loyal to us, so we need to uh, give him a name. All right, my good sir, you've been a, a very good companion uh, for the time you've been in that boat. I've not really spent much time with you, but you, you're kind of up here. There's, there's not much for me to do up here. However, your name is Konglash. Yeah, Konglash the fence enjoyer or something i don't know you like the fence oh no you like the lantern yeah conglash the lantern enjoyer there you go <laughs> all right so there's a couple things left that i want to do um before we finish our time off here one of them is to get a pond a little over here kind of just do something with the oh wait did i uh <clears throat> let me just go patch that up real quick 
Okay, so as I was saying, yeah, I want to make a little pond. I'm thinking kind of like back here. Um, I don't know if I want to level this out just a tiny bit, push it back a little bit, because I did say that I wanted to do something with this water. So I kind of want to make a little pond area back here. And then I'm also partially debating building like a tree here. Like a, not like a massive one, but you know, kind of like this size, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's not the best example, but you know, like a big... A big logged tree, you know? Okay, but yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to kind of try and focus my time on, is getting those two things finished off. Um, I do need to do the little path as well, but, like, I can... That's, that's a small thing, all right? That's not needed right now. All right, so let me just dump this water bucket uh, there. No, 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 my grass! Okay, no, I didn't do too much damage. Okay, we're good. Uh, but I'm going to dump this water bucket out here real quick. And I'm going to grab this water, all right? Because I said I wanted to do something with this water, right? The original source. Okay, so how am I wanting to do this then? I kind of want it to go up naturally. You know what, actually? That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Okay, so then we can have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This can come down here. Then we'll push this back one. No, you go away. You're going to ruin my lovely landscape. Go away. Oh, look what you've done now. Uh, and then we'll have it kind of flow from, I would say, under here, maybe? Have it come out here and then all the way down. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I like this. So I'll put that there. Um, maybe a little bit over here in this corner right there like that. Mm, no, I don't like that. I just accidentally hit. Ah! Oh no! I'm so I'm so sorry. You have to witness this. I'm so sorry. I I didn't mean to hit you. I thought it was a zombie. Oh God, no! Are you? Oh no! I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I just killed his friends in front of them. They came to visit, but I literally I just came up to the house, um, and turned this corner and heard like a. And I thought it was a zombie, but it was just some of his friends and now I've had to kill them in front of him. Oh god. I'm so sorry, Konglash. I'm so sorry. Oh, he's not happy. <laughs> I can't even sleep as well because he's upset. It's all good. It's all good. I'll go sleep all the way down here tonight. It's it's all it's all good. Don't worry about it. It's my bad, my bad. Okay, so the way I'm wanting to do this then is we'll expand out some moss this way. Grow a little bit of grass over here. Throw this down here and just kind of add a little bit of moss over here. He hello? No? You're not gonna you're not gonna work? Hello? Why are you not working? Oh, there we go. Wait, will moss not spread under the water? Hello? Wait, really? I didn't know that. Okay, I am liking this. I am really liking this. Alright, so I wanna go and grab some more of those like little pillar things that I used for these i can't remember what they are but what i'm thinking of doing is i'm gonna put some of those next to the waterfall or at least the entrance of it do these get rid of water oh they get water logged okay okay i'm curious if a couple campfires would look good over here you know you know just dot them around the place pop one like right here maybe another one there and then maybe all the way at the back here we can put another one like right there Ooh, yeah i like that i like that all right how are we looking we looking good. All right. No, that's that's okay. I didn't want to do anything massive with this. I literally just wanted it to look nice. And well, I think that looks nicer than it did. I might just grow another tree later on. But for now, I am very happy with that. That's that's good. That's good. I like that. But we are looking much better from like a, I guess, a bird's eye view. We've got the beach house down there, the dock down there. Yeah, it's literally like just that area that's kind of barren there's not really much happening over there same over there but i can just plant some flowers and stuff down there and it'll look a little bit better but that's a little bit too big for that small of a fix are you still mad at me buddy <gasps> no you've forgiven me okay i'm sorry i'm so sorry sorry <laughs> oh i just killed his friends in front of him they came to visit but i literally i just came up to the house um and turned this corner and heard like a <laughs> and i thought it was a zombie but it was just some of his friends and now i've had to kill them in front of him oh god i'm so sorry Konglash. i'm so sorry oh he is not happy <laughs> i can't even sleep as well because he's upset it's all good it's all good i'll go sleep all the way down here tonight it's it's all it's all good don't worry about it it's my bad my bad 
Okay, so the way I'm wanting to do this then is we'll expand out some moss this way. Grow a little bit of grass over here. Throw this down here and just kind of add a little bit of moss over here. He hello? No? You're not gonna you're not gonna work? Hello? Why are you not working? Oh, there we go. Wait, will moss not spread under the water? Hello? Wait, really? I didn't know that. Okay, I am liking this. I am really liking this. All right, so I want to go and grab some more of those like little pillar things that I used for these. I can't remember what they are. But what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to put some of those next to the waterfall, or at least the entrance of it. Do these get rid of water? Oh, they get waterlogged. Okay, okay. I'm curious if a couple campfires would look good over here, you know. You know, just dot them around the place. Pop one, like, right here. Maybe another one there. And then maybe all the way at the back here, we can put another one, like, right there. Ooh, yeah, I like that. I like that. All right. How are we looking? We looking good. All right. No, that's, that's okay. I didn't want to do anything massive with this. I literally just wanted it to look nice. And, well... I think that looks nicer than it did. I might just grow another tree later on, but for now, I am very happy with that. That's that's good. That's good. I like that. But we are looking much better from like a, I guess, a bird's eye view. We've got the beach house down there, the dock down there. Yeah, it's literally like just that area that's kind of barren. There's not really much happening over there. Same over there, but I can just plant some flowers and stuff down there and it'll look a little bit better. But that's a little bit too big for that small of a fix. He's still mad at me, buddy. <gasps> no, you've forgiven me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, now, admittedly, the tree idea didn't go as planned because I actually ended up chopping the whole thing down thanks to the mod that I have on. So I decided to take that as a sign and instead got to work on making a kind of layered up natural looking farm that was going to be my original idea anyway. So I guess that works out. Okay, well, there's not a tree there, but... I, I think the farm will suffice. I think it looks quite nice, to be fair. It definitely fits the theme of the island that I've kind of gone with from the beginning, essentially. I feel like this is one of the only ones where I've kind of had the theme in mind straight away and kind of gone with it. I like this. It's, it's nice. So what I'm thinking about doing in these last couple of days up in here is I think I want to try and just do some stuff with the path and just, you know, make it look a little bit more flowy is the word i'm looking for maybe i i just wanted to kind of run across the island in a good way um it doesn't need to be perfect it doesn't need to look amazing but so long as it kind of just works i guess is what i'm looking for okay how's that feeling that's actually not too bad to be fair um another thing i do actually want to do now that i'm thinking about it is i kind of want to make this look a little bit more overgrown i don't really know how i'm gonna do that i don't think i can let's have a look at the fences jungle fences let's have a look wait i can oh i forget i can literally make hedges yeah no i forgot about that wow okay oh they connect though uh i mean to be fair it could be worse and do i get them back when i yeah i get them back when i break them okay how's that then Ooh, you know what i kind of like that uh, but no, I want to add some kind of vines around this area. And I also need to replace this one singular block of oak, like, wood that's been chilling here ever since I built this because I was too lazy to change it from oak to jungle like the rest of it. Please tell me I have a singular jungle log. I don't! The only one I have is the damaged one. No. Well, you know what? I think, I think I've got the perfect replacement for this log. Uh, I think I know exactly where I'm going to put there as a support for my building. Oh, that is a man that knows the answers to anything you ask him. Uh, thinking about it now as well, I kind of want to add some moss around the front too. Add a little bit more pizzazz around this area. Beautiful. Oh, we have one more bone meal left, so we may as well just go uh, boom. There we go. Lovely. And then I guess what we can do is we can throw some vines down on here. Uh, you get out my way. Get out. Go on. Pew. Get away. Okay, that's looking a little bit better now. I like the little pizzazz of color that the vines had. I think it was literally just missing something like that. Would you look at that? It's the final sunrise. We made it again, boys. Jeff. Jeff, come celebrate, man. Come celebrate. Where you at, Jeff? Oh, you no. <sighs> Fine. 
Fine, Jeff. It, it, oh, oh, I, what? Why is he always like this with me, man? I, I don't understand, man. I gave you a better house. I gave you friends accidentally, but you have friends now. Look, and you, you're being watched over by Conglash right here. He's going to take good care of you just as soon as he's figured out what that is. But yeah, this one's been quite a chill one. I'm not going to lie. It's been like we haven't really done anything much at all off the island. Like we kind of went out for a little excursion to grab the paper earlier on, but that's pretty much it i don't think i've stepped foot off the island really any further than those ones or any further than those ones that wasn't underground or in the nether so this has pretty much been just completely on the island which i kind of like to be fair like i said it was quite chill okay so i think one of the final things i want to do is and this is going to be so thrilling are you ready for this i want to <laughs> i want to grow some moss um Purely because I think it would look quite nice around this area and I just haven't grown any. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back here. We're going to just remove that and go, <clears throat> there we go. Thank you very much. And then I kind of want to put some moss over in this corner. I even might grow an azalea too. Not 100% sure. Okay, moment of truth. One, two, three. And of course, you're not going to do that. that, that, that it's fine. It's fine. Um, I'll just go and kill a skeleton real quick. I'll be. Man, all of this, all of this for an azalea tree on the final day, it's going to matter absolutely zero, but it, it, it's the morals behind it, all right? It's the morals behind it. You have no morals. You're shooting me while I'm trying to equip a shield. What is that? Boom. Give me a bone. Oh, come on, man. You guys were dropping bones left, right, and center earlier, and now you're not even dropping, like, a single one? Hello? Oh, wait, no, they did drop a bone. I'm just blind. But I really don't think one is going to... Oh, hello. Okay, you're the third guy. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, and you gave me a bow too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was lovely of you. Okay, boom. Home time. Hopefully six bone meal is enough. If not, the azalea ain't that important. Please. Please. <gasps> yes! Oh, I only needed the one. Okay. And then we'll add some moss over in this center area too. Just like right here and just go boom. And then hit it with another boom. Yeah. That didn't really add much at all looking at it now, but it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, thank you all so much for joining me on this journey back on a survival island. I've really enjoyed this one. It's been really chill. Very different to the last time, but you know what? I've enjoyed it. And I really hope you peeps have too. But I think that's going to sum up everything that I have to offer on this little island, at least for now. So as always, if you did enjoy the video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. It helps out massively, and I really, really do appreciate it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then there's a whole playlist of my 100 Days videos up in the top left right now. Um, and then whatever video YouTube decides to put in the top right, which it thinks you'll like. So I don't know if you want to trust the algorithm, go click on that bad boy. If not, then uh, hopefully I'll see you around. But that's it for me today, so thank you again all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.